Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Fantastic. Uh, we live? Okay, let's continue, shall we? Uh, we've got a couple of blank data card builds to replace. Uh, I'm still hovering around Sanj Orbit, but I've got a bunch of stuff in Nervous Orbit that I really want to line up. Uh, we can just about double the blank data card production uh, in the existing blocks without using up more space, and it'll, it'll actually reduce the number of um, machines that we need. This is the kind of thing that I need to do all over the base if we're to, if not maintain the UPS, then have it reduce slower until we finish the game. Uh, so let's start by removing... I don't think I'm actually removing those steel chests. Um, let's see. Blank data card. Uh, I need to change those belts a little bit. Okay, I think I'm just gonna remove everything except for the inserters and chests and fluid drop off. Everything around it, uh, probably it's easier if we just remove it for now. And a fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Oh well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's a bit of scrap. It's fine. I'll just pick it up. And I'm not overly concerned about saving a bit of bio sludge at this point. We've literally got millions and millions. Rip build, but we're upgrading it. What? what what's, what's the matter with that? Okay, so this one's going to become red circuits only. Uh, this one will remain uh, rough data storage substrates, and copper plate is going to move down here so that we can have more throughput. And we're still going to do uh, some decontamination on the spot so that our cosmic water just goes around in a loop. And we'll only need to drop that off very, very rarely. I missed the first two minutes of stream, so I missed the rebuild part. Fair enough. Uh, I, I actually made this blueprint off stream um, I don't want to spend too much time on stream like just rebuilding stuff that we've already done um, it, it's gonna take long enough to to finish space exploration as it is okay so there should be nothing blocking this rail signal is in the way okay there should be nothing blocking this, so I don't have to shift click. Fantastic. And let's get our spiders in the middle. Uh, I hope we can empty this chest in time. Yeah, we should be fine. I've been playing Fix That Bottleneck all day today. Turns out I had built Material Science 3, but didn't have explosives in orbit. Fixed that, then added more things in space, and I might maybe be able to maybe get some Tier 3 Sciences done 
and almost get some solar beaming today. Nice. Solar beaming is a game changer. I would absolutely super duper rush it on a second playthrough. As I say this, I realize now I need to finish building Energy Science 3. I only did one of the four cards, Rev. And there's a lot of cards. Let's see. Data card. Uh, hang on. FNEI. Data card. Card. Really? What? Okay. Uh, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 48, uh, 60, 72, 84, 87, including the broken and junk. That's, uh, that's a few. Oh, the bot networks have gotten in on it. That might complicate things. Uh, it doesn't... It's functionally fine for this build, but there's something wrong slightly with this build, which I'm pretty curious about as to whether anyone in chat can, can tell me like exactly why it's happening. And if there's anything to be done about it without seriously changing the shape of the build. Uh, I believe it's this building right here. Uh, and a similar one... I forget where exactly, but... Uh, so we've got... We've got uh, one, two, three machines. For this side of the belt. One, two, three machines on this side of the belt. Uh, and yet we get some asymmetrical behavior here. Um, I guess it probably has something to do with the there being just a little bit more belt space. Where, like, that this stuff will get out of the way of this inserter a little bit faster. I don't know. But basically, this one gets blocked ever so slightly. Um, each side is supposed to produce slightly less than half a belt. Uh, and yet, no matter how many different configurations of inserter I play with to output this, uh, even though... A couple of fast inserters is fast enough to completely keep up with this when we've got our tier 6 modules in. Um, even if I have two stack inserters outputting for each, even if I have two stack inserters and play with the stack sizes, um, and so on, this machine in particular uh, gets blocked by items some of the time. It's not enough to not keep these machines perfectly satisfied and the whole thing is like uh, some huge number of rough I, I think it's almost full belts so uh one two three it's almost four belts i believe of uh polished data that's coming out um and we're something like plus seven per second supplying them to the space manufactories. Uh, it does still keep these perfectly satisfied, so it doesn't matter in this build, but I did find it a little bit frustrating. After, after making this layout, which I was very happy with, um, no matter what I did, I couldn't get... Uh, it's not just this machine, there's like one or two others in the same situation. Uh, but yeah, in theory, that's half a belt, that's half a belt, they've each got half a belt to output, and yet this one gets blocked, this one does not. Hello, Sil. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Um, okay, is this getting cleaned up? It's kind of hard to tell. Get the spiders to move a little bit. Is this one... It seems like that trash is empty, so it's just the bots are taking a while to recharge. Sorry, no clue. I use enough mods that it wouldn't be an issue for me. Yeah, I think I would treat myself to loaders and larger containers uh, if I was doing this again, absolutely. Although, that said, dealing with the one-by-one -one chests and inserters and things, um, I have, like, learned more dealing with that stuff, even at this stage. Super cheaty, but I'm used to it, yeah. Well, I've said this before, with Factorio, you decide what things are going to be challenging. Speaking of challenging, um, at this stage we're only getting 19.2 blank dart cards per second out of this build. That, but it doesn't look like we're actually getting that yet. Why are we not? Huh? Oh, all of the red circuits are still on one side. Okay. That makes sense. So we're only getting half output out of this until we get another train of red circuits. Because I don't have these uh, balanced from to here and to here. I mean, if, if this empties and then a train comes and drops off red circuits, it will effectively be balanced. Um... But for now, it'll sort itself out, but for now it's sort of all on this side. It's fine. Or well, it will be fine. We tend to bottleneck on resources sooner or later for blank data cards anyway. Alright, are our spiders just about ready to finish upgrading this? Why... Why are you carrying substrates? I've said trash unrequested items, like, always. Space Constructor Tron, trash. Space Constructor Tron, trash. You silly... Silly spiders. Okay. What is this still doing here? Um, maybe I should start work on the new orbital base while we wait for the spiders to sort themselves out. Uh, but yeah, I am quite happy with this layout, despite the issue with this machine here. Uh, we've got our... Cosmic water decontamination right on site, just squeezed in the middle here. And probably the maximum, or close to the maximum, uh, number of decontamination facilities making polished data that we could possibly fit under one beacon. And it's also about the maximum that we can handle with belts here as well. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Orbit? Where should I anchor? I haven't actually looked at Senj Orbit yet. View surface. Nothing but blank. Okay, can we find anything? There we go. Uh, for the Orbit ones, it's all left and right from center. 
to find the land, right? That that would probably be the best we're going to find to get started here. Alright, and I'll go a little bit to the left. Yeah, I think we already found uh, the best bit of land that we're going to get. It's not too bad. Let's uh, anchor close to that. Um, up here, I think. And uh, I need to go back to uh, Angela's orbit to reconfigure these. 6 gigawatt, 0 gigawatt, 9.5 gigawatt, 0 gigawatt, 6.32, 0 gigawatt uh, energy beam emitters at some point. Um, looks like we've got plenty of heat here. 9,000 degrees, fantastic. Uh, we can definitely... I stopped giving this thing fuel already. Yeah. We can definitely dismantle the old uh, power station now. Uh, some of those pipes we do need. Uh, we probably need that as well. well. Well, there's probably enough water for the ships to go back and forth, but even so, I would rather not risk it. So let's leave that one there. Uh, the rest of these are superfluous for the moment. Oh. Have we... Have we run out of storage? I think we may have. Do we still have power up here? Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Where's our spider? We need the Morpheus. Morpheus spider. Is this called? Morpheus. And which one are you? How about. this color. Do I have that? I don't think I still have a remote for you. Okay, this one? It's actually kind of hard to see the difference in color. Alright, up here you go. Let's get some pylons. Connecting these, if you please. Uh, and I think I probably removed the RoboPort connectivity, which might be the reason the bots have stopped. I think we have plenty of storage on this planet already. Where is RoboPort? There we go. Yeah, we've got plenty of storage space. A rare occurrence for me to be able to catch the stream. Also, I'm used to 1.5 speed. <laughs> yeah, this will be a little slower, especially with the UPS. It's super cheaty, but I'm used to it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that said, I didn't realize that a 6x6 chest is only... 512 spaces. 6x6 six six would be... 7... Uh, 36 by 48 So I just replaced all my big 6x6 six six chest storage yards for like... Three times the storage space. Hang on, what's the math? 
48 by 6 by 6. What did I do? 1728. Except that doesn't, of course, take into account the space that needs to be taken up by inserters. Not to mention the UPS. Um, okay. So... What are we going to be building here? We're going to need a receiver. Oh, no we're not. We're in orbit. We're just going to build solar panels. Um, we're going to need a bunch of solar panels. Uh, which means we need scaffolding. We don't have that much. Uh, probably should have thought of that. What even can I build here? On this trip. We need a lot of cannons on Sanj. I can definitely build nope. the uh, delivery cannon chest. RPHL streams, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That 6x6 box with loaders on it equals very fast throughput. Oh yeah. And it's sort of does it balance it, or only if you saturate it, which doesn't really mean anything? Um, okay. We do need some media defense installations. So... How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if we build it in orbit or on the planet, it's the same thing. So we're definitely going to build it in orbit so that our uh, interstellar quartermaster can keep us in ammo. I think I've still got some ammo here. That's good. Oh, don't tell me I took too much ammo from Morpheus. That would be bad. Morpheus 3 just left. How much ammo? Oh, I think we'll be okay. Fantastic. Okay, so let's consider our list of stuff that we need to build here. We need some solar panels. We need media defense installations. We need a drop-off station for the media defense installation ammo. I think I'll just be copy-pasting this. Uh, and then after that we just need some uh, delivery cannon chests, a bot network, shove the uh, stuff from the delivery cannon chests into probably active provider chests, I, I don't think it really matters. We're going to have ships showing up with buffer chests requesting them. And it's not like they're going anywhere else. By the time you stop playing Factorio, your kids are going to grow up and go to school. Uh, if I had kids, they'd be dying in the climate wars, but sure, I, I see what you mean. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm never going to run out of Factorio to play. This is, this is a fact. Like, may, maybe... Uh, maybe if we get an immortal life among the stars one day. No, someone will keep, people will keep modding it. We'll never run out of Factorio content. It's not going to happen. Okay, so... We might have room... We can't resupply water here. That's not going to be much of an issue though. A night dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what are we doing? I think the media defense installation is top priority. Um, I don't know, if we can't 
build the whole thing while we're here, then all we're doing is, like, slowly wasting media defense installation ammo until we come back and finish it. But it's not like it's going to be that much. We may as well get what we can done. The, the main currency at this point is player attention. Um, so this is 4k scaffolding. We've only got 1.4k. I definitely can't do like a typical flat solar panel spam layout for the moment. I'll place what media defense installations I can. Um, preferably in a neat layout. Uh, how about... How about we start over here? And immediately run out of space over here. Fantastic. Scaffolding. And... Uh... Where, where are our bots? We've got zero construction bots. Morpheus stole them all. Okay. Uh, how about this? All right, let's go with... Why, why can't I build this? Oh. I'm really trying to ration out the uh, scaffolding here. All right, so that will go there. How many is this? Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe 16 over here. Can't even fit one. Well, we don't even have 16. Um, I'm just going to steal this and put it here. And we'll plan out the rest. I want to copy our... A drop off station from over here. Hmm. What is this eight by? It doesn't have to be eight by, but still. Talking about kids, I have been playing rather odd game where you have to research procreation. <laughs> The process is so complex that you need to do a research. Other was a great... Other than that was a great game. Developers, though, must be big nerds. The best kind. Uh, how about... How about we put our drop-off here? Uh, I'll just make sure there's going to be room for our ship. Interstellar Quartermaster. Uh, and this would go... It's one off. Let's bring this down three tiles. Oh, except... Uh, I think I want to build it up here, because I want the chests. Well, this has just got to be in robo-network range, so that doesn't matter. Or does it? No, I, yeah, 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 I want the chests close to the drop-off so that we can do this circuit wire connection. Okay. How about... How about just copying this, actually? Right about here-ish. We'll still have room for... 
7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I like that. So, scaffolding. Whoops. Nav set. Scaffolding. I want to put it somewhere like this. I kind of like the way that looks. It's sort of like a jetty sticking out or something. Space is an ocean. And then... Copy... What is that for? Negative three. Negative three. Did I copy that from somewhere else by accident? Which one's negative three? Oh, that's our... Uh... Hold on, negative one, two, three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't belong there. I'll just double check. Negative three. Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure that was erroneously... Copied. And we've got no storage here. And that poor bot is going to be hovering forever if I don't go pick it up. Okay. Oh, we also need that one bit of scaffolding sticking out for the inserter. Uh, I've got the spaceship clamp in this copy-paste, so it's going to snap somewhere functional. This does, this will line up with our, our gun, that's good. Uh, so that actually just goes there. And this goes here. We need a transmitter. Don't really fit it here. Don't really want to. Don't tell me that's the end of our scaffolding. Should pick this up anyway. I might just not bother to defend this yet. No, it's fine. As long as we can easily get power from solar panels. Why are they... There we go. Alright, so I need some bots. Give to me some of my bots back, please. Oh, we've got a million of them here. Okay. So if media defense installation ammo drops below 1.9k. Output everything, input count, everything includes star 63, that's not where we are now, uh, planet orbit 65, orbit 65, uh, is the destination that we will be sending to uh, this ship. I should probably make a second one, even if I am confident we've got more than enough throughput just with that one little ship. Uh, I would rather not wait. Like, if we have two or three places requesting at the same time, as much as we're overdoing it with how much ammo we need, 
Um, I would rather not wait too long for it. Uh, but yeah. Interstellar media, defense, installation, ammo, resupply. Fantastic. Um, and then the condition to launch back to Nalvis is either there's no ammo left in the ship or we've got full chests here. 480 times 8. 3,840. Oh, this should be re requesting 960, I think. Yeah. Which means... This one needs a patch. Fantastic. Okay. Now we just need some power. Pylon substation. Uh, I don't really want to run this off my nuclear power right now. Let's get some solar panels in. Do I have any more scaffolding? Yeah, I do. At least a little bit. I can't actually see where it goes to avoid a little bit of waste. How much have we got left? 1.2k still. Okay. Uh, so you go... How many have we got again? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Can I put the second one over here? Is that going to reach? It is. Fantastic. I want to not have it look like it's crossing the giant guns. And I cannot see okay, where the scaffolding needs to begin here. I don't know why I'm... Well, okay, I don't want to waste a single piece when we're so low on scaffolding, but still. We've got more than this, at least. Should be a little bit quicker. Yeah, I don't think we've got enough scaffolding to get started on... Well, maybe we do. To get started on a pickup station that I'm going to be happy with. Is where I was going with that. That's a good fit. So why don't we start with... Hmm. I've got a space truck drop-off. Oh, that's... No, it's going to look more like this, but we're not refueling. So really, all we're building this time is a bunch of storage chests. 
Oh, we need some circuitry that says, don't take off if you're at your destination. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I think I'll just, I'll just double check, but this is already measured correctly for the space trucks that we already have. I, I'm not going to send any space trucks that we already have here, actually, so we're just going to measure it around the new design. I don't even have to think about that, actually. So we're going to put the pickup here. And we're just going to have... Uh, I don't know, how many delivery cannon chests do we want? Quite a few, I imagine. Like, at least two. Uh, wait, what? Oh, we need the scaffolding. Uh, okay. How do I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put this here. And I'm going to grab some scaffolding. No, 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 before the bots wreck this, please. No. Uh, can I eyeball it? I doubt it. This goes here. This goes here. Scaffolding goes here. Yeah, it's actually going to take almost no scaffolding to build this. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking. We're, we're going to need a lot more for solar power to satisfy the... Actually, no, we're not. I wonder if we can finish this build while we're here. We're not giving it any water or rocket fuel, or ion stream for that matter. All we need on either side is clamps, uh, storage chests, some superchargers. A delivery cannon chest or two, of course. Um, I think... I think I'll actually just do it like this. And, uh, what kind of core fragments? Copper? Copper core fragments. I guess those don't really need to be storage chests. Um... Yeah, those can be passive providers. Three, uh, three inserters, direct insertion. That alone should be pretty quick. Ship would fit here. We can go a bit closer. The shorter the trips that the bots have to make. Um, the faster they'll load with very few bots. Although I think we'll probably just want to have these ships bring more bots in anyway. 
All right, so let's put that there. Do we want more delivery cannons? I think this is going to unload really, really fast anyway, with direct insertion. What's the stack size? A hundred? Uh, for copper core fragments? So this is, uh, 12, 24, uh, 36, three swings and it unloads a stack. Hmm. And it's going to take the minimum amount of time for the cannons to recharge. No, well, I mean, we're going just to orbit, but the planet size is... The radius is pretty big. So the cannons are going to have to recharge for a bit. Uh, so I think even if we have, like... 40 of these cannons firing at once, in theory, I don't think it's ever going to overload. And we can actually just read the total in all of these chests, or in the robot, no, the total in these chests um, to decide if we're firing the cannon. Okay, let's put in some pylon substations. And... It was two tiles out from there. Let's minimize our scaffolding here. I definitely want a supercharger right next to all of these chests. In fact, I might just move the uh, substations so we can get closer. Where's our ship? Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good placement. Uh, so pylon substation goes here. Copy, paste, flip that. Wait. Something looks off. This is sticking out by one tile. I think I'll just do a little blueprint. Um, be gone, be gone, be gone. And include tiles. Flip that around. Why is this not... Is it just because we need to... Wait, what? Why didn't it put the tiles in? Get rid of these old ones so I can find what I'm looking for. It does include tiles. Okay. And then... Uh, I need a transmitter, and I want to get, let's say, red wire on the left, green wire on the right, to measure the contents of all of these chests, and it needs to fit around our new ships. Um, I think we'll just use this circuit wire, uh, use this wire connection that's traveling across here. So, 
measuring the contents of all of these chests, including the delivery cannon chest. How much can we fit here? 15, 30... Uh, let's call it 30 chests. And our our new design, uh, we can dedicate about 30 chests to delivery. So that's pretty good, actually. Okay. Uh, let's connect the green wires. Oops. And here as well. Red wire goes across here. And then we need another transmitter. Give back that scaffolding. Wait, is this like... This is 5x5. Five five. We also need a combinator or two. Wait, do we? I don't think we need a combinator for this. Red wire, green wire, uh, and this will be Sanj Orbit. Uh, chests, delivery cannon chests, I'm pretty sure that is uh, it actually, that looks kind of weird, put this back, in fact that looks like super tacky. How many bots do we have here? Uh, I don't know if 50 logistic bots are going to be good enough for our purposes. So we're going to be needing... Let's put some scaffolding on this side as well. For a roboport up here. And we'll be needing some... Whoops, whoops. Of the usual chests. Request a chest. Uh, filter in SADA. Connect. Read robot statistics. Available logistic bots. Available construction bots. And request a bit of both from buffer chests. I also want some repair packs, and now that I look at it, this is probably... Probably the easier way to keep this supplied, although it will fill this up. No, if I do that, we're going to end up with a bot hovering forever. With its repair packs. I guess we can just put a storage chest here. That should be enough. Yeah, maybe I overcomplicated it earlier. Okay. I think we're about done here. 50 
2.4 megawatts. Um, we've got 4 times 45. 180. Okay, so this can power itself very easily already. Uh, I think we're done with our outpost. Well, we're not done, but we're, we've done everything we can here, and it's actually going to be functional for now. Um, but first... Let me turn off my RoboPod. Oh, and we need some inserters here as well. What? What? Oh. Okay. That gives us six media defense installations. Seems good. Let's head down to the planet. Uh, is this set up? Negative six? Yeah. This should already be working okay. Uh, and it is already requesting ammo. So as soon as the interstellar quartermaster... Uh, what? Why is it stopped? Did it take damage? It did not take damage. It has power. Nucle nuclear fuel... Uh, okay, accumulators are slowly draining because this has passive power consumption. We're not putting more fuel in, but we've got fuel. Um, I didn't touch it, and yet I have to manually engage it. Destination is star 63. Speed signal is negative 75. Target speed unlimited. It's not... Okay, so target speed at the moment is zero. And that's because the accumulators are not sufficiently charged. But we're not putting more fuel in until the accumulator charge gets low enough. So my mistake here was setting it up so that... Our accumulator charge... Our target speed is zero unless we have more than 25% accumulator charge. Uh, and we don't refuel this until we drop below 25%, but you would think that would be okay. Target speed is zero. What's this outputting precisely? 28. Uh, oh yeah, no, 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 I said it so that if accumulator charge is 100, um, our target speed will be 25. And currently our accumulator charge is 26. It is draining very slowly, and it will refuel itself. I just have to figure out a better, a better setting for this. So I'm thinking as soon as we get low enough that our target speed would be zero, we should do this. Only standard inserters? Yeah, they use less power. 
And we only want to insert one at a time anyway. Um, it's a very occasional operation for these inserters. Uh, Ripliner Games. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so at what charge would our target speed still be zero? Um, at 100 it's 25. Yeah, 75. So I should set this to something like if speed signal is as in accumulator charge, is less than, let's say, 74. So at that point, our target speed is negative 1. Um, we've definitely... Well, on the other hand... Consider, I need to see how fast this thing goes in triple-dense asteroid fields. Because otherwise, I'm going to guess that it'll go at least five in a triple dense asteroid field. So if we drop below 80% accumulator charge, uh, we'll put in more nuclear fuel. That'll be our target speed is down to five already. And do we have an asteroid belt here? We do not. I'll just have to check on it later to try and catch it in an interstellar asteroid field. Cool. Oh, target speed almost dropped to five there. It'll keep trending upwards, but uh, as the accumulator charge increases. Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, let's head down to the planet. And we're going to have to set up some liquid rocket fuel production before we're able to leave. Uh, so target is Sanj. Oh, and I'll make sure I leave some bots. That might be a good idea. I've already done that. Fantastic. I don't think we need like a hundred construction bots left over here, though. And I want to make sure we have a stack of logistic bots. Auto save away. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I set up two of these. Uh, sure. In that case, we don't really need this one. And I'll just get rid of that as well. Okay. And that can be... That's already stack size one. Perfect. Cool. Great. Back to the ship. Uh, maybe I should leave at least one storage chest. Oh, and apparently I accidentally deleted this uh, buffer chest for repair packs. Yeah, that's why, because they take they take from the RoboPort to put it into 
Wait, how do I... Uh, repair pack equals zero. Let's do that. Wait, no, that's not right. Wait, it should be. Hold on, how is this not in the robo network? The insert. What? How? What? Uh, hmm. How about this request, just one? Wait, how can I... Oh, it's doing set requests. Right. I, this is not connected. Okay. There there we go. There was a problem with the copy-paste. Okay, so we are... Looking for 100 repair packs. As soon as there's some in here, we... Yep, okay. So that should actually work with an unconditional inserter. The request will drop to zero. Fantastic. And that will allow us to take repair packs from the buffer chests in a ship, um, if required. Let's go to send. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, that's fine. We've got the bots in there. It'll be a long 20 second trip. Back to Nowis orbit. Let's get our spiders to finish our build, which is just lacking some. Uh... All it's lacking is some speed modules. Although, these ones... Oh, that's right. We, we hardly need any speed modules here, so there's none in the actual machines for the space manufactories. And we've still got, like, eight machines because we need so many inserters to keep up with them. Um, that should be in our blueprint. There it is. Okay. Uh, using a very simple method of loading the scrap here, because um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, because the throughput is so slow, uh, we just have a half belt for each type of scrap. Exactly the number of stacks that will fit in a chest for each type of scrap. And then for a loader, we've just... Okay, so we only summon a train if there's enough to fill the train. And then we've got a stack size on these stack inserters, which will evenly divide into 40 stacks. Uh, and that should mean we don't actually need any fancy precise loader circuit. The only thing this circuit wire does is scrap greater than zero or contaminated scrap greater than zero for what the train is asking for. Nice. Okay. We are still missing modules. Uh, is that a problem with the spider resupply or do we just not have them? We've got one speed module 6 here. Uh, I may have used a few too many. We've got 51 over here. Let's get the spiders to pick those up. And I need to either slow down on using the modules, god forbid, or... Uh, make sure I have enough. Looks like green circuits are the problem at the moment. That's a new one. Oh, we've got 100k green circuits here, so what's... Why is this slow? Hold on. 
How can we have a hundred K green circuits? How many robots do we have? Only 50 logistic bots. Something's wrong with the bot resupply. What's happening here? Uh... Um... Okay... What? Uh, what? Blacklist? Okay, so this is anything but productivity module 6s. That makes sense. This is robots specifically. Oh my god, how many repair packs do we have here? Oh no. Uh, 400... 400 445,000 repair packs. Okay. Oh, oh no. Um... Okay, what did we do wrong? No. No, we're asking for 200. Okay. If each is less than zero, output each input count. Read robot statistics. We forgot to read logistic network contents. Oh, no. Okay, so that's no longer asking for... Is that the difference? Let's check. Yeah, that's no longer asking for repair packs. Okay, you can go back to the mall, please. I do have a trash pickup here. Instead of a negative a million to whitelist repair packs in this place, I'm going to set a specific limit of, let's say, 200? Uh, let's be generous, a thousand. No, that's a bit much. Um, just just a stack over what we were asking for. So now all but 300 of our repair packs are going to be delivered here. By our 50 logistic bots. But there should be bots being delivered here right now. Uh, 50 at a time until we have bots available. Well, that's the first time I've looked here and it's been bottlenecking on something other than resources. Uh, for obvious reasons, these are modules. Alright, our spiders have some speed modules. Let's bring them back down here. And we'll make the most of our blank data card production. Products finished. 2,500. It's considerably less on the right side. 3,877. These two have far fewer because the rough data storage, uh, polished data storage substrate has been the bottleneck because this isn't upgraded yet. Because we've got that coming in from the sides towards the middle. Okay. So it's like 6,000, 7,000 or so. Uh, no, we've got 1.1k here. That means there's been enough for a train to pick it up already. Cool. Let's land on sand. Do I want to land next to the pyramid? I don't think so. Uh, we want to land next to some oil. So probably over here. Thinking about what I want to do besides make rocket fuel here. Um, I want to be close to the water so that we can have power. Uh, I don't want to be too far from the pyramid so that we can trim this surface to the minimum when we're done with it. And I want a big flat space. Uh, well, we can make it a flat space. Um... Coal mining. 
So the place to land seems pretty obvious. Um, actually, before I do, let's throw down a blueprint for making some liquid rocket fuel. Oh, that's not it. I have a blueprint book for this. Here we go. Uh, I don't think we're going to get the most out of all of these. However, I need to update this blueprint. Um, I can actually do it before we build anything. Let's put this here. Uh, it's facing the opposite direction from what I was thinking, but that's fine. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here, this goes here, and for the most part, that's all we need. Uh, so I'm going to update uh, this blueprint. I don't want it to be upside down, though. Also, it's got a bunch of question marks. I think that I think that's from the infinite pipes I was using with editor extensions. Um, also, why are these speed threes? I must have used... It's supposed to be higher tier, but on the other hand... Ah, it's fine. Oh yeah, was this a wide area beacon too? That was the mistake as well. I will need to physically build this to update the blueprint anyway. Never mind. Okay. Let's just figure out where we're going to fit. Uh, I think just a half version of that build will be sufficient. Can we do it without too many cliff explosives? We're going to need some water. It's not too far away. Uh, probably better if... If we can fit this here... Can we fit our spaceship next to it? Beautiful. I put it, I put it in backwards again, didn't I? Maybe the right side version. Perfect. Anchor. And we're going to need some water. Offshore plum. Pipe. Did I even bring pipe? Uh, I'm sure I did. Yeah. We can make nuclear. So, of course I brought pipe. Uh, one thing I didn't bring ridiculous amounts of is cliff explosive. That's why I'm being careful with this. Water goes here. It's going to be a little awkward. No big deal. And we need some oil. Hey, here's Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how lazy can I be? Let's go with radar construction pylon over here.
Did I not bring enough refineries? We're missing one, two, three. Uh, that's eleven fuel refineries. Does it? What does it stack to? Fuel refinery. It stacks to 10. I find it odd that I would have been carrying... Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I haven't built any in ages. So I would think I would be carrying 0 or 1 stack, exactly. Can I handcraft them? I can make 4. Oh, I've got them. Oh, my robo-port's off. Okay. Then why did we have, like, six in here? That's weird. Probably has something to do with landing on Morpheus. Uh, and this is supposed to be... a regular beacon. Wide area beacon. We need some more power. There's a lot of cliffs here. Um, do we have enough? I don't... I'm pretty sure we don't have anywhere near enough to build... No, I could be wrong. I wanted to build this here. I, we don't have enough landfill. Uh, we need 9.1k to make the big one. We have... Zero? Zero. That's not the number I was looking for. I don't want to try to build a version of this which... Um, doesn't use landfill. The piping would be a nightmare or impossible. One, two, three, four, five, six pumps here. Not that we need strictly six pumps worth, but the pipe throughput to get them here would be a problem. Um, can we make landfill? We've got a million stone here. It'll take time though. But it might be worth it. What's our blueprint require? 412 uh, steam turbines. We've got almost that. Uh, 240 heat exchangers. We do have that. 668 pipe. We've got most of that. Uh, so we could definitely build the quarter version. It's just that it'll, it'll take a while to get the landfill. But I think I would rather do that than make another trip. So let's get some mines going. Assuming I have them. Oh no. Uh, please tell me we have mines somewhere. Oh no. Oh, we do. What? Wait, why do we have one big mining drill? One. One big mining drill. Ah, ah, ah. That is... pretty weird. I don't know where else we would have dropped off mining drills. Uh, I don't know why Morpheus would have stolen them. We don't have any mining drills on Morpheus. I don't know why a spaceship would have stolen them. I didn't build them anywhere else. 
uh, yeah, that... Don't tell me, the construction spiders... You sneak. Oh. So if I don't want to go back to Nalvis for mining drills, or build them here from scratch, I need to go and take them back from those construction spiders. What does it actually take to get a big mining drill? I haven't had to think about it in a while. We need blue circuits. Uh, maybe I should use some electric mining drills. Maybe... Maybe the amount of stone that we could get just from rocks everywhere will be over the top. That was a terrible waste. No, not again. You tricked me. Uh, how much stone is this? That is like 11 landfill. Cool. We only need... Um, let's see. 2.4 thousand. Times 50 stone. Uh, 120,000. Uh, where is my mining drill? Oops. I think it's in storage back here. Can I not? Okay. Mining drill. I guess we'll make the most of our one big uh, big mining drill. Let's give it some power. Speaking of power, we're going to go through all our nuclear power if we don't get some solar panels placed. There's not a whole lot of flat terrain, but... Oh, I haven't made... I haven't made the blueprint that I was dreaming of before I had radar construction pylons. Uh, it's basically this, but with more accumulators, I suppose. What's the day-night cycle like here? 98% solar and 20 minutes. Dreaming of blueprints? Yeah, when I was, uh, particularly when I was building this self-expanding, uh, solar over here, I wished I had radar construction pylons. Although what I didn't understand at the time is that they don't have anywhere to recharge the robots. So if I were to not have any roboports here or superchargers, and just have radar construction pylons stretching out indefinitely. The robots will go maybe this far from the roboports, and then they'll just turn around, unfortunately. But as long as we're not building too far, um, something like this is actually totally fine. Uh, can we do this without cliff exploding? I think we can. And... Why is that not powered? Huh. Okay. Can I put that where those will connect? Actually, I'll make that. Make all of those radar construction pylons for now. Maximum laziness. Yeah, see, they're already not. Oh, wait. I don't know if some of them are not making it to their destination. Let's see. I do suspect this won't get built. Maybe if they build the supercharger? 
uh, Quichen. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got like 40 something construction, radar construction pylons, right? Yeah, 36. Cool. Oh, is it? I've got 48. Okay. That's on top of what's already in the robot network. Uh, can we have a little cliff exploding as a tree? Just don't want to run out. I should go visit the, uh... I'll get rid of this until we've got more power. And... Let's get a... Landfill... Machine. How much can this mine? 60,000? Not counting... Productivity bonus of a lot. Uh, let's see. Productivity bonus. Plus 150%. Uh, 150,000, I think that's actually enough to get our landfill. And we need, what was it, 2.4k? I think that's uh, one chest. I'll give it three chests anyway. Uh, and need to give it some speed as well. 120k stone was needed. Fantastic. That means this alone will be enough. Uh, although it might take a minute. Be gone stone. Once we've got enough power, I'll give it a speed beacon. Oh. Oh, that didn't take long. Okay, cool. Um, speed. Speed. Power's still totally fine. That'll be a little bit quicker. Okay, we can't prod this. And it's already much faster than the drill. At 11.25 per second, um, to make this quarter thing, 2.4k, uh, 2400 times 50 divided by 11.25, oh, is that Brackets don't make a difference to this, do they? That's a lot of seconds. Uh, 177 minutes. Three hours. And that's not considering UPS. Uh, that's a little bit slow still. Um... What if I add some electric mining drills? Crafting speed... Mining speed is 0.5 per second. And this one is... It's only double. It'll have more... This has more prods as... Oh, we can make five of these. What, what am I going to run out of if I make all five? Probably big electric motors. I think I'm... Fine with that. Okay, so if I make three of these, we're looking at about one hour, two hour, uh, a bit over two hours of real time. I think I can live with that. I'll just um, uh, I'll just busy myself with some other things. Ooh, 
We'll do some space science while that happens. And we should still have plenty of power. Good. Alright. Let's put on our combat armor. Uh, and just because I'm lazy, I'm going to get the spider out. So I don't have to manually fly over here. Uh, let's not walk into the pyramid just yet. I don't know if a spider will walk in or not. Oh. Uh, before... I can probably fix this remotely, but I want to make sure. Before I stop paying attention to this... Um... How far across can I move that? Not enough. Let's make sure we've got our crude oil. And, of course, we would need cliff explosives for that one. Copy, paste that. How much crude are we looking at here? We're going to need some speed modules, I think. We need 408 per second to satisfy the build. Oh, we're already here. Good. Uh, why don't we give it a speed bacon? This would be well over 400 per second. It will slow down eventually, but we only need this so that we can take off just once. Uh, we're going to need some pumps to make sure we have enough throughput all the way through. Uh, no pun intended. Does crude deplete in space exploration? No. Uh, you need Crastorio 2, I believe, for it to actually deplete to zero. And that's not a feature I desire. It would really just mean that we have to spam more oil core mining. Bots should already be on the way to build this. Some of them are. Or at least one is. Um, let's bring this over here. There is oil core mining? Yeah. Uh, oil core fragments give you... Uh, let's see. Well, I can't actually see it from here, but you get crude, crude oil core fragments. And those will give you... The usual ratio is uh, five vanilla core fragments, one stone, and it varies what you get. Ten hormonite, ten iridite, uh, ten crinite. Venom lunge, I think, is a bit different. No, it's the same. Crude oil, uh, we get... That's coal, actually. Oops. Crude oil. I think I didn't move crude oil over here yet, actually. It's still the old build. Because we haven't been mining it that much. I guess we could... Nah, this isn't a high priority for prod modules. Uh, but yeah, crude oil fragments give you 100 crude oil as well as the five vanilla and one stone. Out of 16 um, crude oil core fragments. Uh, so even with Crestorio 2, you can get infinite oil. It's just uh, a little bit more of a nuisance.
to say the least. Where should I connect this one? There we go. We're going to need some pumps if we're going to maintain decent throughput. Although uh, at 400 or so, it's not going to be that much of a problem. Okay, so that should get... Do we still have plenty of power? Yes, we do. Uh, that should get our ship fueled up. Or rather, it will... If I build this base pipe out here... Um, how about we put that there? And... I'll just put a little bit more space pipe. I forgot that these aren't connected to each other. Let's get some... Well, we should have some long pipe, do we? Not really. Underground pipe goes here. Underground pipe goes here. Regular pipe goes here. That should be sufficient. We're going to need some pumps, actually, to make sure all of the fluid is in the ship. That should be all it takes. Uh, I also need to make this little fix that I still haven't added to this blueprint. Oh. Let's head over to the pyramid. And let's have a peek at Nova's orbit. We're still missing speed modules. One, two, three, six, ten, and eighteen. That's a bit harsh. Why have we suddenly got... Didn't I literally just a little while ago... Mark all of these spiders as please don't carry, um, okay, I think they do have the auto trash set up properly, but we had some split stacks, and the, bo the bots need one stack available in here so that they can put stuff in the logistic trash, as silly as that is, uh, the spiders do. Which one is full? I actually can't tell. Uh, where are you? Oh, I, it's this one, isn't it? No, this one? This, this, this one. Okay, why do you have blank data cards? Trash unrequested. That That is part of the Space Construction... Space Constructotron template. I don't understand why... that happens. Alright, let's update the next one. Don't need those... rid of all of this for now. Get rid of all of this for now. That part can stay. 
and we should be able to put our blank data card blueprint here without shift clicking. Fantastic. And hopefully they can build that without any intervention, without their inventory getting overfilled or something. Meanwhile, the first build is going pretty well. Um, we won't actually be getting only 19.2. How many speed modules have we made since I fixed this problem? Not a whole lot. We still only have 85 logistic bots? That doesn't seem right. We are requesting logistic bots, but I think the request threshold is probably one stack. Request stack threshold one. Oh, so this is... I don't know how this worked so well before, because... This is only set up so that if all of the... Wait, no. We've got zero logistic bots available. We're looking for 50. Available logistic bots is what we're reading. Oh, we've got some bots here. What? Why are we not... Blacklist. Logistic bot. Available logistic bot. Set filters. Oh, that's why we weren't reading from the logistic network contents. Uh. Hmm. I think this should just be a requester chest. Do we have construction bot? We have 1300 construction bots in this block. What? Oh, this includes this whole area. Okay, that's fine. That just raises the question of how in this entire block we didn't have somewhere else providing... Oh, it's only requesting construction bots. Okay. Not logistic. Okay, but if we can turn that into a requester chest... It won't read from... The, the logistic network won't read what's in this chest. Uh, and then our logic for that one should be sound. We need our spiders... Oh, they're still building. This roboport, robo network up here is trying to help. I wasn't sure either, indeed. So if it's an obvious thing to do, I haven't spent a lot of time on Twitch. Uh, is this just space exploration, or are there other significant mods too? Mostly just quality of life. Uh, also, crafting combinators are a bit of a game changer. We've got our mall in space, for instance, which is mostly just made up of six uh, space manufactories. Although we're struggling a little bit at the moment. Uh, because we're missing superconductive cable. Uh, why are we missing superconductive cable? Because our fluid output is... Oh no. Uh, I don't think our fix for negative 10 degrees drop-offs worked out. Um, I'm seriously considering just building a dedicated block for storing negative 10 degree thermofluid, because I've checked and double-checked that, um, yeah, this goes here. I've checked and double-checked that we're not, like, we're not producing more negative 10 degree thermofluid when we don't need it. So the amount that we have produced, there just isn't enough places for it to go. 
when the, the lower temperature thermofluid comes back as negative 10 degrees. Maybe it actually was the way to go, where the first builds... No, there's so many things that spit out negative 10, it's a pain. But a while ago I was doing, if it spits out negative 10, we turn it back into negative 275 degree and 25 degree thermofluid. But I don't like this, this is ugly and it uses up a lot of space in our different builds. It's also just kind of a confusing mess with the way we have to have the pipes. Thermo fluid balancing is a headache, yeah. I pretty much had it set until I started having negative 10 degree thermo fluid come back to the thermo fluid blocks. And the only reason that's a problem is we're just producing so much of it as a secondary output uh, from various recipes. Uh, do we have logistic bots in this block? No. I'm going to remove these. Those were just there to patch something earlier. Uh, yeah, but at this rate, I'm seriously considering another block like this. This is just a storage block for biosludge. Um... And it ended up, like, I, I built something like this, like, something like 300 uh, storage tanks when I resorted to this. And then the next thing I knew, those were pretty much full. So I built this out to the entire block. Uh, and much to my somewhat surprise... There wasn't actually anything wrong with our prioritization of making or not making new bio sludge. Uh, it was literally just... There's so much of it that comes back from other places. So I think we're going to do the same thing with negative 10 degree thermo fluid. Honestly. Um... The only question is where to put it. I think I should actually put it up here. Let's get our... That's not the scaffolding spiders anymore. No, I hate this. Please put that there, I guess. What? I was able to change the order of remotes before, so what's the problem now? Ah, uh, okay. Is this the scaffolding spiders? Yes. Bring them over here. We'll build this block. I need to remove the old power poles from this. We're not using those anymore. And I'll put a... Uh, symbol here to show us what's that. what that's going to be for. Um, I also want to include... The power poles, so I know where to put that. Oops. Okay. I might keep that naming convention, actually. And then we'll just copy paste this and change, um, change the requester signals, and I guess the station names. Uh, I would like to make kind of a universal fluid storage block, if I can, but 
I could definitely make it so that there's just one constant combinator that we change the request thing for. It's hardly any effort to update one of these, though. Now, what was I looking at before we got distracted? Uh, we do need to... I was going to say we do need to add this storage here, but I guess if we're going to build this uh, storage block, that's not going to make any difference. I'll wait till the construction spiders get their inventory sorted out. Uh, and then building this is a pretty high priority at the moment. Okay. While we're waiting on that... Oh, I did want to see if a spider will walk into this. I doubt it. Yeah, no. <laughs> No spiders permitted. I'm guessing if I put it in my pocket, um, I could place it in here. Okay, we've got shields, lasers, battery. Let's go. I don't think we particularly need all that, considering the Tesla gun. But I would rather be over prepared. Fantastic. And we can indeed place a spider in here. Okay, I wanted to take a screenshot of this so that I can add it to my collection of clues. But the biters are kind of in the way for the moment. Um, there isn't anything I can do to persuade them to leave, at least not without console commands. We're just going to have to wait a minute. Uh, meanwhile, on... Sanj? Did we get our oil? We did... That should be saturated over here. Looking good. And products finished. Oh, 1355. Nice. Um, so that is 50 times that. 67,750. Uh, we need... About double that again, and we should be full. So that's actually quite quick. Brainsman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I take it our stone, uh, not stone, but what's the word I'm looking for? I take it our landfill production isn't keeping up with that. It should take about an hour game time, is what we calculated. Oh, the spiders must be placing signals. Yep. Let's get them over this way. Once we've got all of those bots away, back to the middle. I'll turn off these input stations before I copy paste. And once we've got all of this scaffolding in place, 
count necessary is understanding circuit logic to be able to play this. My limit is comparing the amount of items between two chests. Uh, it depends on how clever you are as well. There's a lot... Oh, we actually removed this this time. Uh, a lot of getting something to happen with uh, circuit logic is figuring out how you can solve the problem with very little, like low-level programming. You know, you've got very little to work with in terms of the signals. Um, so, for example, how do I check if these steel chests have exactly the amount that we need to fill a train with something? Uh, we read the amount in the chests, and then we have a negative amount um, for how much fits in the train, minus one. And then if anything is equal to negative one, we output one green circuit there, that green signal. Um, I think if you're able to come up with clever little tricks, you can sort of do a lot with a little with circuit networks, but that's, that's kind of exactly the skill of learning to use combinators. There's a bunch of stuff that you'll end up adding to your bag of tricks, like you know, you figure out how to make a memory cell or, or look it up or something, you figure out how to make a pulse generator, uh, and then you've got more stuff to work with. But I know Arcospheres later on in this mod, I've heard it's going to take a lot. Um, apparently, you are definitely going to need some circuit network understanding to, to balance those, basically. I should be able to take a sneak peek with F N E I Arco Sphere. So let's see. Alpha Arcosphere Lambda wait, what? I don't think I know what that symbol actually is. Um Arcosphere Lambda ten seconds. Arcosphere Xi Gamma. So these two become these two? These two become these two. These four become these four. Four arcospheres become all of these. Oh. 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 This is going to be interesting <laughs> to try and figure out how to balance, because that's, that's going to be the problem, right? To balance them. based on how many we actually need for whatever recipe. That's interesting. I'll just learn from you then. Thank T-Hax. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, um, like even if you, even if you're trained in programming, um, learning to solve these problems with, you know, not being able to write a function or something, but instead you're trying to do it with such small, like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a very granular um, little bits of logic that you have to work with. And you're trying to figure out how to how to solve an abstract, how to solve a more abstract high-level problem with such small units of information. Arcospheres were a disappointment for me. I did the math, realized that precise solution would be overcomplicated. Built the simplest brute force one, turned out working just fine. Well, that is one way of problem solving it, I guess. I'll have to actually solve it myself before I can really comment on that comment. Hang on, this is an add-on I'm looking for. I hate having to remember what to put in a request chest for what the recipe wants. 
can I have this FNEI open on the side? Uh, yeah, that mod is called FNEI. Um, although, at first when I was reading that question, I thought you meant you would like to automatically request what is required for a recipe. Uh, that's what this combinator is actually doing right here. Uh, this is part of the crafting combinator mod. Uh, and this one is just finding the ingredients of a recipe. You can just control C that. Cheers. You can copy the recipe to the request a chest. It'll automate. Oh yeah, shift right click, shift left click. Like... You can't do it on a ghost, but as soon as that's been placed... Uh, for rail guns, we need batteries and heavy girders. Shift right click, shift left click, and then watch out for the amount that it automatically sets. I believe it's based on the speed, uh, including modules and everything. Uh, if you do that with uh, the... If you do that with a Spidertron recipe... Uh, in vanilla, I think. I've had it request so much stuff. Yeah, I think this is happening right now. 562 low-density structures. Uh, 60 rocket control units. That's 6 stacks of that. 11, 12 stacks of that. I don't know if this is going over the top, but I've had it in vanilla where if I right, shift right click, shift left click that, it's actually requesting too much stuff to fit in the chest. Um, and it'll sooner or later get jammed. Why does this think there's no overflow chest? Okay, that's a bug with crafting combinator that happens occasionally just have to rotate it. It's kind of like turning it off and on or something. Okay, did we get our build here? Fantastic. Uh, so this is going to be negative 10 degree thermofluid. Uh, that goes there. I wish it was a slightly easier to just change this to a different signal with the same amount. Okay, negative 10. Requester. It's not required in uh, LTN to change the station names, but it is a bit better for understanding what's going on when we look at the train schedules. For instance, if I don't change this one, it, it was just showing us trains that are picking up bio sludge. But I don't actually have to change these combinators at all. It's just provide threshold and so on. So it's super high priority to consume it from storage before we consume it from uh, over here. And I think we're ready to switch that on. There should be uh, quite a few trains delivering here immediately. Only two. Are we short on trains? Novus Orbit, not enough logistic network storage space. That's not what I'm looking for. I think it's a blue symbol if we're out of trains. Alright, back to the mall with you. And... Yeah, I should have done this ages ago. I just didn't want to admit that I would need copious storage for uh, the cool thermofluid. When I built it for bio sludge, I actually thought this was probably going to be a mistake, like... Surely I just did something wrong with limiting production of bio sludge. But no, it comes back from other blocks 
in vast quantities. Uh, often when there isn't even a biosludge input. Uh, so, how is this looking? We're up to 135 logistic bots. That is increasing way too slowly. Uh, request from buffer chests, why not? So let's see. We should be... Yeah, I'm going to bump this up so that we can request like 100 logistic bots at a time. Until we have some spares. We've still got the biters here. I think... I think there was at least one corpse that disappeared. I could be wrong. Can I... Force them to... Oh, okay, there we go. We figured it out. This is how we clean up biter corpses. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Take a little snippy snip of this. Uh, a bit more than that. And save that to... S.E. Mysteries. Uh, what planet was this again? Sange. S-A-N-G-E, right? Uh, let's go outside. It'll be easier to... Uh, let me just swap that out because those always drain. I've been meaning to swap out energy shields back to... Uh, adaptive armor, actually. Because the adaptive armor doesn't drain energy when we move fast. Alright, let's head back to our base for now. We should have plenty of liquid rocket fuel. It's getting close. Oh, we're out of power. Oh, I didn't build... I, I built almost no accumulators. Uh, the only reason we haven't used more nuclear power is... What the... Oh, okay, so this is actually completely crashed. Yeah, because I removed those chests earlier, the inserters didn't have anywhere to put the output. And then if the output isn't swinging, the input isn't swinging with this circuit. I mean, eventually that'll be true anyway, but it happens sooner. Yeah, so 20 minute days. Um, I don't know how long the night is going to be. That's why they call you T-Hacks. <laughs> okay. um, you can control C the recipe though, but then I don't know what to do with it. But the control right mouse button, control left mouse button works. You can train, change how much it auto-sets. Oh, really? Uh, where do I do that? Settings... Other? Interface? Uh, where would I... do this? I would love to just set it to, like, one copy of the recipe by default. Marsh, Black Op, and Jessica's. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, Hanno Dest as well. Uh, okay, what are our orbital spiders doing? They are probably... Though that's the scaffolding spiders, they're kind of hard to see. Orbital spiders are looking a bit upset. 
probably the same problem as last time. They're not supposed to have blank data cards in them. Wait, what? Why? Why? Just a little while ago, I said trash unrequested items and copied the settings across all of these. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, let's finish... Well, did we get any more tier 6 speed modules? Those have been practically infinite for the longest time. It's only the tier 6 uh, productivity modules that we've been using faster than we're making them. Uh, but since the bots crashed, that's another story. Also, I've been using them more in orbit. On the ground, we use hardly any speed and efficiency modules because it's all just beacons. Hey, Nyron Wolf. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see, 0.5 per minute, that's prods. Speed has actually been slower. That's interesting. Alright, but our bot count is up to 370. Nature is healing again. Why are we taking... Huh? How did a speed 6 module get in the trash? It should... What? What? How to... What? I mean, it'll get to the mall, that's okay, but... That is... Unexpected, considering... Oh, I guess we're not supposed to request from buffer chests. I probably clicked that out of habit. Yeah... I think I did that when I set it to take away the excess um, 500,000, 600,000 repair packs that we had here. That's a lot. It's going to take a minute to clear those out. Uh, I don't think we need these energy beam receivers just sitting there from when we first got them and we're playing with them. Look, oh, I wanted to see how much, uh, how much liquid rocket fuel do we need to take off. We're actually almost there. 704 gigajoules. Uh, we would be able to add some more chests and we would still be able to take off if this is full. But I think we'll stay until we get our landfill. We're actually at 560 already. Um, I do want to get rid of three quarters of this build for now. And I'll just build the first quarter. As soon as we can. 2.4k. E, uh, I think I'll just delete this so that I don't mess it up. And we'll put this here. I'll have to move... No, I think I'll just build out the robot network to get this done. On the other hand, I think I'll build it here, the first quarter, so that Spidertron can walk up this way. I actually forgot to bring a Spidertron other than my beloved Speedy Spider. Uh, I might have to leave it here. No, I'll just leave a robot network. 
we're pretty we're pretty set on the things we need to do at our outposts. I don't think there's going to be too many surprises, and it's also much easier to expand the robot network to get things done as well now. And we don't need uh, construction spiders to build out tons of solar because we're going to be receiving beamed power. Speaking of which, since I did leave some construction bots up here, uh, we should be able to perform that surgery I was talking about before. Uh, just by Roboport. Although, I didn't leave a whole lot of stuff up here. Um... What is actually... Oh, there's a Roboport here. Okay, cool. What if... We're not actually reading from that Roboport, are we? No. So if I put this over here... We should be able to... If I mark... Th uh, let me try something real quick. Okay, cool. We don't have any storage right now. Um, but if I... Mark these for deconstruction. And then... Put them back. Oh, it'll happen! It'll happen instantly as well. That's cool. That didn't go quite as planned. If I'd done a deconstruction planner, I could have got the bots to place all of those at the same time. No, it's still. Oh, I think it's because this is switched off. No, this one has nine point five. What? What? They're all switched off. Zero gigawatts, 6.08 gigawatts, zero, 9.5, 7.83, zero. I don't understand. I think we're just going to have to separate these more, which means we're going to lose some efficiency, but... What are you going to do? Uh, we have... One... We need 2.4 megawatts here. Uh, 2.4 megawatts here. And just a small amount here to recharge the ships. Although it's going to be a while before we're actually receiving... Those sorts of ships here. We also need in orbit, uh, 2.4 megawatt, well not 2.4, but just a small amount of recharging. I mean, it's probably not really necessary on both ends, but I would prefer to uh, energize the ships that stop there. Um, but right this instant, all we actually need is for our power plants. To receive some energy. Do not glaive it. And that heat is climbing back up rapidly. And then... Sange... Energize. First one is going to go here. We can point it before the receiver. That's fine. And I guess we'll point this one at Sanj Orbit. Probably about here, I think, is going to be our 
receiver. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So we're just waiting on landfill before we go back for more stuff. Six hundred and eighty-three. It's going to be a little while. Uh, I may as well... How many Roboports do we have? A million. Okay, cool. Uh, I may as well build out the Robo Network. Wait, what? Here we go. Whoa! No, 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 no. What? Why is it not... I need it to have power connections. I can't drag it like a... like a pylon. What will it reach if I do this? Where are we going? Uh oh. Mm, I didn't really anticipate that. Okay. Let's go back here. Uh, and let's go down this way. Actually. Pylon. Connect to about here. Oh, that actually did connect. Where are we going? Over here. Okay, can I now turn all of those into radar construction pylons and they should all reach each other or no I think it will well it's going to stop building them all out if they can't actually reach. We will need some roboports dotted along the way for recharging. Oops. Yeah, that should get itself done. Do we have any charges? Let's just use roboports. Actually, no, let's use charges if we have them. I have 25 personally. And there's another 17. I don't think we need 17. So let's put you here. This goes here. Uh, how far away did I do the last one? Let's go here. Kind of hard to spot the ghosts. Kind of very hard to spot some of the ghosts. There's one. We'll see if they build that all out automatically. Wait, is this not... No, it is connected. Okay, cool. Also, these don't need to be here right now. Alright, back to Nervous Orbit. Uh, that is 
already a lot of cold thermofluid, cool thermofluid. And we should be seeing certain blocks in motion again. What happened here? I never actually got to witness a test for this thing. Uh, how much have we got? 22k and 5.5k. Alright. I'm going to send you back to the mall. And do we have our spiders nearby, actually? No. I'm just going to drop these on the ground. Now. I thought I sent you back to the mall. Okay. I'll get the scaffolding spiders to pick up these cards, I think. I do wish I could do this with fewer clicks, but it is neat that I can do it remotely. Okay. We should have a train coming here immediately for blank data cards. And I want to see what happens. So we're reading from logistic train stop output to see what the train is asking for. Uh, provide stack threshold is more than a train load. Each greater than zero output each minus a million for the signals we don't want. Divided by 24 to get S for stack size. And we also put through the signal type if divided by 24 is still more than greater than or equal to 1. And then each less than 24 output 1 each goes to one inserter per cargo wagon. What? What? Okay. So we know this circuit isn't working. Um, but why? Oh, I think I know. No, I don't. I think it was this one exactly earlier, actually. We had a problem where... Some of the inserters didn't actually have the correct settings. They should be set filters, set stack size, control signal S. They do all appear to be correct. It's a little hard to see the wiring. So we can see the stack size isn't going down. Oh, I see the problem. Okay. We weren't reading from the train stop. I think this got copy-pasted. And LTN can be a bit finicky with certain wire connections. Uh, it, it works every time you blueprint it, but certain wire connections don't get copy-pasted. So I shouldn't be surprised. The logistic train stop output wasn't connected earlier. So I shouldn't be surprised that the vanilla-ish part of the train stop that goes to each times one, uh, each times negative one output each. So we're subtracting what's already in the train from what we're asked for, uh, what we're asking for. That's why the stack size wasn't going down. Cool, solved it. And in fact, I was able to prevent that from going wrong in the middle of loading the train because the stack size was still high enough that it was uh, 12 or more didn't make any difference. Scaffolding spiders will now pick up these data cards, take them back to the mall. And... Construction spiders are still having problems. Which one is it? Um, what? 
Oh, I think it's this one? That's one of them. All I'm doing to fix this is picking items with the navigation satellite. I can't actually take them anywhere, but it just puts them back into inventory. So if the stacks are split, we gain some inventory space. And then the spiders are a uh, the bots are able to get back into the spiders, put stuff in the trash slots, that gets cleaned away. As it should happen automatically. Um and then we can get back to it. Alright, have we made a few more speed sixes? Uh they shouldn't be here, they should be over here actually. I don't see any. There might be some in this network. No. We made a speed 6 in the last minute. 17 in the last 10 minutes. 20, 30 in the last hour. Oh, they're probably in the spiders. Okay. Let's send you back to our blank data card builds. We could discuss the meaning of life. Indeed. If only robo spiders could speak. First time you head to a new planet before you have spaceships, best to just take yourself in the cargo so you don't lose anything. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. With a cargo rocket. Uh, put down a landing pad and send a second one with all the stuff. I think you can't lose items that take up an entire inventory slot. You can you can lose a fraction of a stack, um, but something like a cargo landing pad or a cargo rocket silo, um, I think you can't actually lose that in the cargo rockets. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, anything precious you absolutely want to keep in your inventory. The bots are really struggling with this. Let's put another charger over here. Silly bots. Oh, it's trying to go straight across there. Oh, I see what's happening. You're getting this far and then turning back, this far and then turning back, and so on. Well, it's still going to be fast enough to keep up with our production of landfill. I will personally build out this network, though. The bots are really struggling with that. Hello there, Jelly the Bee. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No, I accidentally pressed forward. Now I have to issue this order all over again. Okay. Back to orbit. We should have... Speed modules over here. We're still missing... Uh, eight, actually. But we got the beacon bed, at least. I assume we're short on uh, polished. We're not. Oh, we didn't get the speed modules in here yet. Um, on the plus side, I think we are getting 19 per second consistently. Which is about what we got from the, the old block at best. So, this is actually already an improvement. Alright, so we're waiting on more speed modules to properly finish this. But the build is basically done. What's taking this one so long? There's nowhere near enough speed modules over here, that's why. Okay. Now, what was it that motivated us to improve 
O. What made it us t uh, motivated us to improve the blank data card production speed again? I think it was this build. Train limit is probably five, actually. We're still starving for blank data cards. Uh, how much data did we get here? Only 420. Rip. Okay, so we're waiting on a few things. Let's get to automating some more stuff. Uh, I'm trying to... There we go. And this was laser shielding data. This was actually quite a difficult build. But now that we've done that one, laser shielding data requires iridium plate, blank data card, material testing pack, supercooled therm thermofluid. It has 50% iridium plate output, uh, contaminated scrap data, and 25 degree thermofluid out. Uh, electrical shield data is basically the exact same recipe, but easier. We swap more iridium plate, that doesn't make a difference to our build here. Uh, we also output contaminated scrap. We don't have to output 25 degree thermofluid. Plastic is a lot easier to supply and has a much bigger stack size. Uh, yeah, this is just, it's going to be pretty much the exact same layout, but easier. And because the stack sizes are more reasonable, I won't do this weird shape. Um, but let's bring our scaffolding spiders over here. They've got a long way to go. They're not like over full or anything, right? No, they're good. Let's bring you... over here, and then place this, place, uh, place that, and construction spiders, and come over here as well. A repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to switch off these uh, combinators for the input stations. Uh, except for this one, which brings us negative 273. I'm pretty sure that'll be the same. No, that's going to be Ion Stream, actually. Okay, so I'll turn this off as well. Pretty sure that's all of our input stations. Yes. We're going to copy-paste this. We can get rid of the fluid output station. Uh, change these belts a little bit. Uh... And that'll basically be the build. We're going to swap out the machines and so on, obviously. Um, it's also a slower build, uh, a slower recipe, so we're not going to have anywhere near as much need for throughput for contaminated scrap. Unfortunately, we do need to wait for the scaffolding to be placed. Uh, did we build this out? I think I ran out of... I did not run out of radar construction pylons. The bots are just reserved for trying to place them. And they're doing silly stuff like this. Uh, if I... 
cancel that and put it back. Oh, I don't have my robo pods, that's why. Derp. Alright, let's make sure we build the rest of these. Maybe I should do a little island just so the bots can move directly across here. It's fine as long as I put it somewhere where I want to place a power plant in future. Um, there's actually quite a few places we can put this. There's, there's more than enough room. Why don't we put you... I don't want to be able to see it like this. It's going to try to go from here to here, and then fail, and then turn. Oh no, they're going... Jeez. Okay. That's actually terrible. I could move the spaceship, but that's going to be such a waste. I don't know, the liquid rocket fuel is actually being produced pretty quickly. No, we should probably... If I put this here... I want to ignore the RoboPort stuff for the moment. I'm going to put this here. Get rid of most of it. And... We can put a RoboPort over here. Don't really need all these fish though. Let the fish be. I am Freaky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I just want them to start automatically placing this landfill. Is that so much to ask? At this rate, I would have been better off just carrying it myself. It's only 2.4k. Oh, this isn't powered. Uh, okay. I think there's a bot trying to deliver that. Okay, back to orbit for a second. Why have we not built this? Oh. The scaffolding spiders aren't there yet. That makes sense, I suppose. There we go. That should provide a path for the bots to get all the way up here. And there goes our RoboPort, or what's going to be a RoboPort. I hope we can reach there, actually. I think we can. Yeah, pylons are amazing. Look at them go. Wait, why in... Why are you not carrying anything? And you're headed this way. Explain yourselves. Uh... Where are you headed? Back to the ship? Okay then. Let's 
scaffolding spiders have arrived. After building this gigant, oh, it's so uneven. But I was going to say, after building this gigantic block, uh, we've actually got way more storage space for cool thermo fluid than I th thought. So that's good. Oh, and this recipe spews out blank data cards like there's no tomorrow. So that'll that'll kind of help. Nice soup. 6.4k. How much have we got over here? At this point, 5.9, 1.1. That's not too surprising since we need more modules for this one. I should probably just give it speed 3 modules and give it an upgrade planner once we've got those in place. Do we have speed 3s in the construction spiders at this point? I don't think so. No, wait, we did get those built earlier. Or was that because we were picking them up from the old build? I think that's probably it. I don't remember the last time I built... A regular space assembly machine with the con uh, space construction spiders. So I think we'll remove that from the list. That's one step closer to them not getting their inventory overwhelmed. Was it this one? Let, let's start with you. I think there's two of them here. Yep, there you are. Okay, did we get this built? Fantastic. Uh, these stations are switched off. Good. Copy. Paste. Turn these back on. I could have done the copy part and switched those on earlier. And we need different machines for this. recipe are we doing? Electrical shielding data requires electromagnetic facilities. We want our fluid orientation like so. And recipe is this one. Uh, we need some you know what? Since we're so... Oh, I didn't mean to turn that one on. Uh... Well... How many trains are on their way here? Just the one. Can I perhaps... No, 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 no. Go over here. No, no, no. Stop. No. Ah... <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. I was going to maybe bring it over here so we didn't get that stuff here. Because I was going to get rid of these excess machines for now so that we can borrow these speed modules. Uh, 
I might just borrow them anyway. Um, let's go for... That's a thermo, right? No, laser. Let's steal those modules back. I don't think we're going to be needing that sort of speed anytime soon anyway. We can still make 33 laser shielding data in this block per second. Uh, we definitely want the speed modules in here. What? The scaffolding spiders stole them. Okay, um... That's unfortunate. Uh, was it this one? Oh, I see you. Okay. Uh, solutions. Hmm. I think if we just send the spiders to this block... The logistic bots in there should hopefully sort them out. And worst case, those will go back to the mall. turned out to be rather convenient having all these little robot networks around that have the auto trash that goes back to the mall. I think I'll keep the scaffolding spiders here for the moment. Okay, so we've got, how many machines fit in this block? Uh, 48. One of these is 0.38 per second. 48 gives us 18. Uh, I think we're missing some speed modules in the beacon though. Okay, so one is actually 0.62. 48 would be this many. Less than one belt for each input resource, 150 contaminated scrap per second. I think that's the same as what we had here. That's surprisingly fast. I thought... Oh... What's the base crafting speed of these things? Uh, laser facility? Is one... Electromagnetic facility is one. But I th thought... I thought the recipes were different. Ten seconds and five seconds. So how is it with the same number of machines? Let's see. Five contaminated scrap every time. Five contaminated scrap every time. Oh, this is actually... Yeah, no. No, I built this to support eight belts of contaminated scrap. We're not going to need that many this time. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I just forgot um, just how much contaminated scrap was coming out of this one. Okay, so let's build this out down here. Uh, thank you for the follow, Infamous. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're not going to need any output pipes this time. 
and we're not going to need an output fluid station. It uh, be gone. Uh, how about a deconstruction planner for pipes? There we go. Yoink. 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 And yoink. I guess we could have saved a little bit of space, but I'm not going to redo the build just for that. This is only 18 contaminated scrap per second. Uh, it is a bit... I think it's slightly more than half a belt, though. It's exactly half a belt. In practice, it's pretty hard to get that not to bottleneck, like this machine bottlenecking on being blocked by the belt. Uh, is a thing that happens. But yeah, that'll be fine. The belts that we've got for this are a bit overkill. Um, let's get rid of half of this. And... We're only going to need the one balancer here. that actually. Uh, I think we'll do a corner balancer. And we only need two belts for the contaminated scrap on this side. So something like this. I guess that would all be on one side. No, it wouldn't. Okay. Let's go with that. Splitter. I don't need a splitter, actually, because it'll be going to this one. a good fit. And then same thing on this side. That might look a bit weird actually. the underground belts are long enough for this to look neat. And this will still be contaminated scrap pickup. This will be electrical shielding data is our pickup. And negative 273 degree thermofluid is not what we're looking for here. Plas plasma stream? Wait, no, ion stream. I know the blue one is ion stream. That's what goes in our ships. 120k. It should be even slower than this block for the fluid. 279 per second, that's fine. We're actually missing some 
speed modules over here. At max speed, this would be 48 times this. 300 per second. That's very easy to deal with, fluid-wise. Um, uh, we do need to connect these, actually. And because of that, I either need to change this one so it's not going each divided by 24 because it's reading the thermo fluid as well, or I need to change the inserters to say specific light, specific type of data card is less than or equal to zero. Come to think of it, the standard I've been using is to change this. Um, but it's actually, like, a few fewer clicks, I suppose, to change this one, and then copy all these across, but I'm always paranoid that I've missed an inserter when I do that, so I think this is fine. That's the convention we've been using, regardless. Electrical shield and data. Perfect. Okay, so what are our inputs again? Uh, these two are the same. This becomes plastic. Uh, what's our throughput on each side? 15, 15, 11, uh, 3.7. That's like nothing. It's actually really slow. Uh, I do want this to be evenly balanced. Let's do balanced unloader right 90 per second. Um, but I don't want to override the inserters. I just want these belts. I will give that a splitter. And we don't want a lane balance because we need to preserve which side of the... whoops. Uh, which side of the belt things are on. And I do want to read from that bit of the belt as well. Cool. Now we just need to do the same thing on this side. Let's get a left 90 per second. Remove this part. Remove this part. goes here. We can actually copy paste this part. Fantastic. Looks a little bit short for an underground belt, but then this part's asymmetrical, so I guess I'll do it like this. Seems good. I think we are ready. Switch that on. Switch. Oh, we need to request plastic. As opposed to material testing packs. Just to confirm again, plastic iridium plate blank data card. Throughput is rather low. Um, we'll just go for 
Well, let's just go for a couple of train loads of each. There's plenty of room. That data card. On the other hand, plastic stacks twice as much as this. So how about just replace it when it's down to 2,000? And Iridium Plate is already set at about that. But Iridium Plate is even slower. Update station name. Switch that on. And I think we're good. Let's make sure all of our wires are connected. Especially since we've been doing a copy-paste. Seems good. Here comes our fluid already. And train limit 5. We should get plastic, iridium plate, and of course blank data cards are the thing we're going to have to wait on. Um, do we have some here? 7.6k. We're not making these anymore. We've run out of negative. Oh, we're still making negative. Okay. How much have we got? 3,000. It's going to take a little while. Uh, I would kind of like to... set this priority super high just so that we can test the block. Something I should have done ages ago um, is put an icon like that, something like this, when I want to remember to get rid of that later. Uh, and what's the name of this again? Electrical Shielding Data. Goes here. Maybe I should include the text. Is that going to make... That's going to make the map way too cluttered. Yeah, no. Let's remove that. Alright, what do we got? Blank data cards. Fantastic. Uh, so, we've already got everything set up to swap the recycled iridium plate back and forth between these machines. The build should be complete already. We just have to wait and see that it's working. I think I will send our spiders back to the mall for now. Are you okay? Uh, chunk data card. I don't think I've got one of these here. We just have to define how much fits in the train. I haven't come up with a better way to know that the chests are full um, before we load the train that works regardless of stack size. I'd also like to somehow fit more inserters to do this. Let's check on the planet we're sitting on. We've got 1.1k Oh, no. The bots aren't even... <sighs> They're not even making it 
far enough across here to head down this way. Alright, I guess, uh... If we build a charger here... Pylon... That should connect. And then build this out this way. Kind of hard to see. And then if we put a charger here, hopefully they'll get across that. That's the idea, anyway. I'm guessing all of our robots... Yeah, okay. Let's introduce a few more bots to the system. Say, 300. That's a robot. Alright, so they're trying to place those pylons that I just added. Um, I don't think they're going to reach here. They might need some help. There won't be any power for the RoboPort if the bots even get there. Oh, that's... yeah. This part is taking a surprisingly long time, but we are bottlenecking on making the landfill still. So it won't cost us any time, apart from all of the attention that I have to give it just to get this working. Alright, how's our new build looking? We don't have plastic yet. Oh, no, that's not plastic. This side has plastic. Uh, here it comes. Fantastic. Fantastic plastic. What's next, once this is working? We have... Uh, experimental alloys data. Laser shielding data. Electrical shielding data. All that leaves is particle beam shielding data. And particle colliders are huge, I'm pretty sure. So we're not going to be doing a copy paste for this build. Uh, what's the crafting speed? One. And the recipe is five seconds. It also outputs contaminated scrap and some recycled iridium plate. And it also has three physical inputs and one fluid. Five seconds. We can't fit as many machines. It's going to be a very similar build. We just have to do a bunch of it manually this time. So I think we'll build that here. Thank you for the follow, uh, Mr. Norway. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need to get some shuttles delivering rough data storage substrates, I think. Uh, Spawn, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. How 
how many prod sixes have we been... Not prod sixes, but also prod sixes. How many speed sixes have we made lately? 19 in the last 10 minutes. That's actually not too bad at all. Have we got enough bots yet? Oh, wow. How did we end up with... 1400 more than we need? Did we run out of a resource? It doesn't look like we ran out of a resource. All of the requester chests have something in them. Uh, I know we could increase the speed in these machines, but we're already bottlenecked on the inserters themselves. So that's actually not that big of a deal. I could copy-paste this so we have twice as many machines making speed modules to catch up on it. I don't see why not. If I feel this is excessive at some point, I could always just remove it. I'm going to have to get the construction spiders to pay that a visit first. We're still... Oh, right, that's why we need so many logistic bots. Well, no, it, this is only, like, so many repair packs at a time. Uh... It is still requesting the tier 6 modules. They're just not getting taken from the buffer chests, which I guess is fine. Could it be that when the recipe changes, a lot of bots are needed suddenly? Uh, yeah, it depends on the recipe. Like, the early... Uh, the low-tier recipes for the modules consume green circuits blindingly fast. Uh, I'm just surprised we went from, like, 50 to 80 to, next time I checked, 1400. Now it's 1700. More like 1800, actually. You can see a lot of dead bots, too. I started mining my first Vitamelange yesterday, but clearing the planet is still an ongoing struggle. I bought over 600 nukes, and only had to use one on the nest my personal lasers couldn't handle. Yeah, it is a challenge sometimes. We, we were very lucky on Penium. We've got a very large planet with Vitamelange, and quite close to the origin point, the middle, um, we got enough space to make an island. So we haven't had to deal with the biters here. A hey, Veldak, a uh, Fulkert, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Also scale the summit, good to see you again, also. Welcome, welcome. There can be resources found on the asteroid tiles. Uh, yes, asteroid tiles. As in, uh, if we go to Calidus orbit, for example. Well, let's look here. Angulus actually has iron ore on... Uh, is this what you mean by asteroid tiles? That has iron ore. You need an oh no channel emote? That's actually a great idea. Uh, let me add that to my to-do list. Oh, it's growing. Uh, okay. And... We didn't get power here. We still didn't get power here. Okay. 
if can we just build that please there we go I might need my jetpack for this one They don't have as much reach with the power poles as they do with the robot stuff. Okay, so we have a charger there. Are we stuck? We are stuck. Okay, so all the way around here again, we're going to have to give the bots a hand to get this, uh, this thing built. Actually, if I just place pylons between these, that might be enough? I don't think it will. Oh, 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 they're getting there. Yes, we did it. This would probably help, though. We can finally, finally get our bots to auto-build this. It's been a long road. Okay. Uh, back to Nalvis Orbit while we wait for that. And I want another block right here. Oh, nope. I think I may have misplaced that. Let's be very careful. There we go. So we're going to have a uh, tier 4 material science here, 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 and here. And let's put in our... Island substations. I'll go ahead and add the tag ahead of time. Uh, I believe it was particle beam shielding data. Is the one that requires space platform plating. I haven't done the supply chain for that just yet. We did automate it on Nalvis. I think I remember calculating that it would be more stack efficient uh, to build that on Nalvis. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Stack size 100 versus 50 for heavy girders. We need four stacks of steel for every one stack of space platform plating, and then another stack for space platform scaffold, and then two stacks of heavy girders. Uh, that's seven... St that is seven times more stack dense if we make this on Nalvis and then send it up. Okay. I'm surprised the... I'm very surprised and concerned that the space platform plating isn't full here. We don't have a demand for it anywhere yet. Oh. Are we out of steel? That's alarming. 8.9k. 27k. 22k. 25k. 14k. That's basically a yes. As much of, as those numbers might sound large. Uh, I've got a provide stack threshold of 400. It's a bit more than two train loads, so we we can load two trains at the same time here. And we don't, like, accidentally put all of it in the wrong place. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit... Okay, we do have tier 3... Yeah, this is a job for upgrading 
the beacons, I think. I don't know, we may or may not bottleneck on the output stations if I upgrade those beacons, but it's obviously worth a try. Uh, but I'm a little shocked, to say the least, that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of these 144, uh, that's over a thousand industrial furnaces with tier 3 modules, minus 40%, sorry, plus 100% power consumption with a few speed modules and a bunch of efficiency. Uh, crafting speed is 4. What's the default for this? 4. Okay, so it's actually... It's actually normal speed. So it's just like having a thousand furnaces. Alright, do we have any tier 6 modules here? No? Do we have them in the construction spiders, perhaps? Where are our... Oh, I forgot I left them way down here. Uh, my bad. Do we still have a train traffic jam here? No, we're good. Fantastic. Uh, I forgot to check. Do these guys have any tier 6 modules? I see 8 blues, 47 green, 26 blue. Fantastic. Uh, why don't we go... And upgrade our beacons. And I'll play with the ratio of speeds to efficiencies until we get probably minimum power consumption but maximum speed. We do still have tons of power spare. Um, maybe I should just go full speed. But then I really do suspect... Uh, that we're going to bottleneck on the output stations. I need to redesign these. Or just build a new version. Again. Thank you for the follow, True WeCraft. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many media defense cannons do you have on your Vitamelange planet? I've taken 16. Uh, this one, we've got 12. Um, although with the excess power that we've got, what the? Oh, this isn't running right now. We're saturated on Vitamelange. And... Huh. What? Oh. Oh. Uh, we need more vanilla core fragment processing. That's kind of good, in a way. I've got a couple of old vanilla core fragments processing blocks here. Um, I want to upgrade them to this one. Fewer machines, better productivity bonuses, higher throughput, and so on. Uh, but we need more prods to make that happen. Although, I could just replace them with Prod 3s. I mean, I want I want to replace these existing blocks, but they're sort of in the way. I could build some up here, I suppose. Now that we've got this space, that seems like a good idea. Core miners have no problem on landfill? They don't. Yeah, no, I actually... Uh, that's something that occurred to me when it was a little bit late to do anything about it. Um, but yeah, they actually do work on landfill, oddly enough. Alright, I am going uh, to take a short break, but not before I fix this. Do we have power? Uh, we do. And... It looked like we had power problems, but it was really just because the supercharger was charging. And there we go. We're something like halfway done. Building our... 
first quarter of the receiver. Alright, I'll leave you with some LTN screensaver for now. And I'll take a short break, back in a few minutes or so. Take care. Oh, hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When bots have to travel too far to recharge, they abandon their current job. Yes. And they, th there's no, like, decision-making to it. Or, uh, there's, it no, there's nothing particularly intelligent there. They just make a direct line to the nearest recharge. I see you built an entire colony on just landfill, indeed so that I didn't have to deal with the biters. Isn't that a little cheaty, so the bugs can't get you? Uh, I wouldn't call it cheaty. Maybe if I built... Maybe if I used water fill. But, I mean, we've got loads of biters on a huge planet. Um, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, let's go back to here, make sure the screensaver's gonna work. Oh, and uh, this part wasn't planned, but I kind of accidentally destroyed a bunch of uh, concrete when I landed the ship over there, so I ended up just drawing some hazard concrete around it. Alright, back in a few minutes.
Nope. Thank you, thank you. There was name and base routine. <laughs> Sneaky. Scale the summit. Okay, where is it? Uh, I still haven't set it up so that that gives me, puts it in my to-do list. Scale the summit. Oh, there's so many. There's so many <laughs> routines. Oh, I see it. Name and base. All right. All right, let's see. Where are we going to put this? Should we put it in orbit? Um, seems good. Let's go with T. Actually, I'll... Instead of building it backwards, I'll build it up here. And then we'll move it. Fantastic. Scale. We get an E. Uh, low. Where's our H? There we go. H E. Summit. And is there anything in that name that I need to watch out for? Do we want the 999? Why does someone has his name blue? Uh, because that's what Whiskers asked for. Yeah. Amen.
Machagas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so how about... Did I misclick? I did. How about here? That seems good. Oh, and we've got our construction spiders handy. What is going on with you? Okay. Alright, here we go. Yes, please, 999. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where am I going to get a 9? Or should I just make it from scratch? Does this look like a 9? How about... How about this? Digital 9. That seems good. Um, okay, we've got another Sydney Kenson here. Uh, how about... How about here? Does this seem good? Um, can we get a pylon or two? Fantastic. That's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Please find another NIB redeem attached to your redeems. And as I already was in orbit, well, uh, okay. Let's see. I'm just going to assume someone would point it out if, uh, if that was not the case. Where am I going to put this? Do, do we want it on Nalvis? Oh, those poor little bots. Hold on, before I forget. Let's just try 7 and 8 for these, and we'll see how that looks. Also, how many prods would it take? Uh, 144 times 8. That is... Sorry, times 5. 720 prod 6 modules to upgrade this. That's a lot. Okay. Where on earth would we put a name on Navas? What about Calidus Orbit? <laughs> I'm kind of joking. We're never going to look here, are we? I could have a huge collection of names here, but we're not going to be checking back here very often once everything's set up properly. How about... I don't really want to use the ocean that much because that's where we can build these, but on the other hand we're not going to need that many of them. How is your energy situation? Uh, on Nalvis? It's pretty good. Big nuclear, it seems. Yeah, well, this is like nuclear, except we don't need any fuel. We just get solar power from right next to the sun and beam it over here. And from that we get heat. And solar on the sun, indeed. Uh, why is this one not receiving right now? Or... What? This one... Is at max temp. This is also at max temp, but I'm not seeing the... Uh, the effect that shows that it is receiving heat. That's kind of weird. I will just double check. Yeah, this is energizing right here. 
Can I, like, turn it off and on? Oh, wait, wait, what? When I turned it off? Okay, I was gonna say, when I turned it off, we got that effect again. Well, the important thing is it was working, anyway. Where are we gonna put this name? How about here? I could... It's gonna be a bit scuffed looking unless I bring some concrete into it. We do have a bunch of concrete right here, though. Except we've got no bot network to access it. I know what to do, though. We'll send some spiders up here. Oh, that's right. We need to check. This is... Minus 80% power consumption. Of course it is. We're only using prod 3s. Speed is... Uh, 10. So that's kind of fast. What was it before? 4. So we've more than doubled. Uh, I need to come and play with these modules to make sure we're not wasting any, but we can more than double our crafting speed here. That's huge. Oh, and because we're making ingots here, ingots are actually pretty slow. There's a lot more to be done by our Omni Smelters these days. So yeah, um, upgrading the beacons is going to be a big help. Why don't we get you to do that while you're here? It's actually 0.8 crafting speed at the moment. Oh, it, because it removed some stuff. Do we have enough speed modules? Deliver... yes, we do. Fantastic. Alright, so that we just sort of gained more than two Omni Smelters by doing that. Let's get this name done. Uh, so first I'm going to put down some concrete. And it is just regular concrete that we've got here. And then... I'll go to orbit... Grab the very long name. Excuse me. Uh, back to Nalvis. And does this fit here? Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even kind of. How about over here somewhere? Uh, what about... I don't think we're ever going to utilize this space, except maybe to put a stone mine here. Um, so I'm thinking up here might be decent for a name collection. It's a bit far away. How about here? I could put another block there. Over near the shuttles? Oh, here we go. This seems as good a place as any, for now. Yeah. I don't ever feel like doing the landfill for these areas. Or at least, not for... some time. We're using this water as well. So I think we will build our lights here. Do our spiders even carry lights? They do not. Okay. So I need to update that. Instruct Otron lamp fifty save.
Constructotron. Pick up a few lights. And head over here. Make sure we have some uh, big power poles, by which I mean pylons, actually. Get rid of the literal big power poles. And we'll need some more over this way. There we go. You must construct additional pylons, always. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's why my name will appear soon on Nalvis, as I already exist in orbit. Indeed. Uh, I had no clue about the channel points when someone said I could put my name in base. I didn't realize I had channel points to do it twice over. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, some channels just have, like, the Twitch defaults uh, for what you can do with your channel points, which is a little bit bland. We should probably concrete that. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit difficult to look at. I don't know if the spiders are carrying enough, or any. Uh, they've got spaceship floor. <laughs> Why are they... I think they just happen to be carrying spaceship... No. No, I think spaceship floor is part of the... Constructotron... ...list at the moment. For some reason. Oh, I know why. Yeah, no, I don't actually want to change that. That's so that they can put down liquid rocket fuel tanks. I think I'll get the scaffolding spiders. They're actually over here as well. Alright, let's add concrete to the Constructotrons. We'll have to make them take another trip. Uh, but we do have... Once we get this pylon down... We do have the name done, just need the concrete, and that should probably get it done. Let's make them make, take another lap just to be sure. That brings back my StarCraft fantasies, <laughs> uh oh. Alright, so how are we doing on this planet? We're getting there. We've almost got enough to finish the first quarter of the power plant. And how about orbit? We have our block ready to go. Um, I do actually, believe it or not, want to start with this. Even though the machines are a different size. What's happened here? Oh. Uh, whoops. Minor detail. I forgot to filter this correctly. I probably should have filtered that for contaminated scrap. That's what I usually would do. But I liked the look of these icons in the middle. 
Okay, could you please take that to the trash? I'll need to get construct... what? Construction spiders are a long way away, actually. Oh, I'll get the deconstruct... Uh, not deconstruction spiders, but that's what I'm going to use them for here. We're going to need to empty this of shielding data. Now, we do have a train coming to pick it up. I'll let it do its thing. And what I should have done, actually, with the last one... ...is send it to its destination. And then, as soon as it runs out of the thing it's delivering, it would have gone back to the depot anyway. And the other stuff would have got recycled. Okay, so we should be seeing the last of the data cards that are on the wrong belt cleared out of the way quite soon. Fantastic. How many do we have? Hard to say. Oh, I don't have a... Uh, do we have construction spiders here? Not yet. How about... I connect this over here. We've got 9,000 data cards. Still in the chests. Yeah, I know. I guess you're not moving anymore. This is going to be a bit of a hassle. The scaffolding spiders should have a decent amount of inventory space at the moment, since they just built a block. Something isn't right there, indeed. So I'm just waiting for this so that I can hit O. So that I can hit undo. I don't think they have... No, they, they still have room. It's just... Okay, this one doesn't. I guess I'll just send them back to the mall already. Or I'll send them to one of these blocks, which will empty their inventory for me. I'd better make sure they've got trash unrequested. Yeah, yeah, they're already trying to trash that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I switched that off, I think. Yes, good. Good. Let's copy this as a starting point for the next build, although we won't be building this. Switch those combinators back on. That's a lot of white. It, it's three... it's two white things and something that's off-white on this belt. It's kind of hard to look at, to be honest. Okay. You're not quite going to get 8k contaminated scrap. Away you go. Let's get rid of all the belts and stuff, since none of that 
is going to fit the same way. We need some colliders. We need beacon. We need recipe for particle beam shielding data. We need some speed modules. Hopefully we've got them. We do. What's the mods you're using to manage Spidertron logistics? Uh, it is called Auto Trash. Right side still broken? Do you mean the contaminated scrap and the data cards? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to empty it. Speaking of which... Okay, our spiders are still waiting to be emptied here. Uh, okay, so how many of these can we fit? There's no output fluid, that makes things a bit easier. Um, I think only three on each side. So we'll put this one here. Wait, no, that's... Yeah, no, it's two on each side. I wonder if it would be easier. So it's three physical in, three physical out. And we need to be able to swap iridium plate between the two. What does our rate look like? We can't fit two of these vertically, right? Not even close. Uh, it's actually quite slow. Uh, lots of contaminated scrap again, though. I think 150 per second on each side of the block is about as far as I want to go. at the most. So probably just a couple of these in the entire block. And that would give us uh, 20 Particle beam shielding data per second. Throughput of iridium plate is very low, once again, less than half a belt. Uh, it's actually less than half a belt of everything for the entire block. But we get 300 contaminated scrap out. Only 200 particle stream. Uh, 320 divided by... 160. Whoops. Yeah, so we need eight belts. Of output. Four belts on each side. And we need less than... Well, it's actually... Theoretically, if we could do it perfectly, just one belt of input could support the entire half a block. That feels really weird. We're putting so many... We're putting in so few physical items, but we're getting tons of contaminated scrap out. Okay. So...
since Iridium Plate is so slow. I still haven't done a shuttle for space platform plating. Should probably do that. Put it up here, I think. I would prefer to just use one side for physical inputs and the other side for fluid. Since the inputs are so slow. But then we need three inputs. What's the best way to do that? It's going to look a bit lopsided no matter how I go about it. What's the ratios? Iridium plate is just a bit slower than the other two. I think we'll just do... So it's plate, platform scaffolding, iridium plate, and blank data card. This is already blank data card. Iridium plate. I could do a sushi belt. Haven't done one of those in a while. We can literally feed this entire thing with one belt. So, why not? Seems good. And then this one was... Platform? Okay. They're all about even, so I don't want one thing on one side of the belt. Or do I? We can do... Blank data cards and space platform plating evenly on one side of the belt, and... The rest can just be... Iridium plate? How should I go about that? Well, not like this. That's for sure. Let me just grab a drink real quick. It's slow enough that I could use long arm inserters. But inserters like to put things on the far side of the belt anyway. I think if I swap these around. It'll be a bit easier. Those two would use opposite sides of the belt, then that's not what I want. Something like this. And then... Some splitters to preserve what thing is on what side of the belt. This probably looks better, I don't know.
No, if it's going to be sushi, let's bring it all uh, in one direction. And then, actually, we should be using underground belts here. Whoops. Almost lines up perfectly. Actually, the output will be way faster. 18.75 per second from one machine. Uh, it's actually 20 per second from one machine. And we can't just give it however many stack inserters would go that fast because outputting just the one data card is an entire swing. Uh, for the inserter. Maybe some filtered outputs would make sense here. Four belts of... I think I should make some more room in between these. And we could simply have all of the contaminated scrap output down the middle. It might make it difficult to swap Iridium plate back and forth if I do that though. I could just put the Iridium plate back on the sushi belt. Yeah, 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 I like this. Uh, and we've already got Iridium plate on the outside of this belt. I like where this is going. So we have filter inserters putting iridium plate back onto the sushi belt. I suppose if there's room, we could put the particle beam shielding data on the sushi belt and then just split it off. Let's check our throughput. We're dedicating one side of the belt to iridium plate and we only need eight per second. So that is... we could almost triple the amount of stuff. Eight per second particle Beam shielding data is 10 per second, that's 28. Uh, sorry, 18, that's well under the half belt. If we can organize it so that we never consume more than half of the half belt or iridium plate, then this will work. Uh, there was some clever... Where did I put it? Sushi. This thing. There's some clever stuff that you can do with splitters that will give you... Like, exactly half a belt. Or half of half a belt. I'm just not entirely sure how to integrate it. So this thing gives us 50% goes here, 50% gets recycled. And it has input priority for the re recycled stuff. And then 50% of that, so one quarter of everything that comes this way, goes here. If I'm getting a solid half belt of iridium plate, let's do a underground here. Actually, let's put it over this side. So iridium plate comes this way. And then 
50% of it gets recycled, and that has input priority, and 50% of it uh, gets merged back onto the belt. Is that going to do it? This is this is rather compact. This is rather succinct. If that's all it takes. So the goal here is to turn a solid half belt of iridium plate into just half of a half belt reliably coming down here. So iridium plate cannot go through here. It all comes through here. 50% of it passes through here. The other 50% goes in this little loop. Input priority is here, therefore if we've got iridium plate here, it's going to block this iridium plate. 50-50 goes here, goes here. I think, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that might do it. So that should give us a half, half belt of Iridium Plate. Uh, we're going to output everything but... Well, let, let's just do a whitelist. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we can handle 1.5 per second on a regular filter inserter. Uh... Data, Iridium Plate, and this is just a bit clearer, I think. So we're going to be outputting that back onto the Sushi Belt. And then down here, let's just say the Sushi Belt lines up with this. Um... Uh, I will move this over a tile, actually. Before we loop around, we're going to split off and take the data cards. Was it? Particle beam. And that just happens to line up perfectly. Very good. Particle beam. Fantastic. I don't think we have any fluid output, do we? Nope. And we're doing our fluid input up here. So that actually could have just been each. Okay. Uh, we're going to have our outputs like so. Merge this back in properly. I think I will move this down a tile. So that leaves the question of how we're going to keep an even amount of space platform plating and blank data cards uh, on the belt.
And rather than reading from the belt down here, or using a counter, or anything like that, we know we can get these inserters to swing perfectly in sync. What would be the easiest way to do this is say, if we could have two conditions, if we could say blank data card and uh, space platform plating, both equal zero. And then we swing all of these at once. I can think of a way to do that with one combinator. However, I'm trying to think of a way to do it with zero combinators and coming up short. Can't wait to retire in 40 years and play this non-stop. Um, try and find more time for it now, I would recommend. Rule number one, never assume as you do you'll make an ass out of you and me, indeed. Until Iridium backs up and the other item can't get to the splitter to travel through. Uh, Iridium plate's going to be on one side of the splitter, uh, uh, of the belt, and everything else on the other side. Uh, Nairon. Uh, Daniel, Ninja Dogs, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Big Clown as well. Welcome, welcome, Tree Wecraft. Humble Sapiens, I like that. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Okay, so... The way I've already figured out to solve this is... We just read... Uh, space platform plating plus blank data card output as some arbitrary signal. Let's see. I don't know. X. Send it back to the green wire and X equals zero. But I'm thinking we could probably pull it off with just red wire. No, no we can't. Not sure how I thought that. Oh, yeah, no, it might be possible. Except I would have to get rid of... Okay, what if... What if this one reads here? And... We disconnect this one... From the green wire. Disconnect all these from the green wire. It's going to turn into a mess if I don't delete this. Should have put this here already. Uh, I didn't actually. I don't actually have to use two different wire colors the way I'm about to do it. And the reason that I'm putting it on separate wires is. Oh, this is gonna is because this is gonna be everything has to equal zero. That's how we're gonna get our two conditions in one, and we're just gonna remove detecting iridium plate from that circuit in particular. So, because the trains only come in when they're full, um, and these inserters are all going to be in perfect sync, we're going to have the exact same amount of space platform scaffolding and 
blank. That's not true, is it? Uh, even if we could rely on the trains to come in at the same time, the stack size is different. Well, it was a nice idea. If we had infinity boxes for the blank data cards and space platform scaffolding, then that would work. Okay. So we are going to have to do some some tricky stuff to make this work. So that one is blank data card. Whoops. Uh, whoops again. Glad I double checked it. Okay. That's gonna connect to here. Read not contents hold. The inputs for all of these are quite slow, right? Yeah. So it shouldn't matter if they're not perfectly spread together. I could do a counting system. But then I would be counting the Iridium plate as well. We've already got a non-counter system that should put those on the belt properly. I could have... Oh. Oh, that would be a little bit neat. What if we did it like this? And I guess we would could reduce that by one splitter. Maybe not, actually. Uh, so then we're going to bring that over here. And we're going to do more belt shenanigans. So, first of all... These are going to be on the same side of the belt. We're going to split it. So we have plating on this half belt and blank data cards on this half belt. Then we're going to merge those into one belt on the same half. And we're only going to do that when reading from this tile, uh, space platform scaffolding is equal to blank data card. At the very beginning, this could be a bit off, but it'll be fine after that. Uh, so this goes here. Uh, probably not a good idea to make that a corner. So I'll bring this down here, perhaps. And then we need to do... Nothing, actually. 
I was going to say we need to do the same belt shenanigans to leave some space on that side of the belt, but that side of the belt is just going to be these two. So we just need to merge that back in. Can we reduce the... Uh, split account? Yeah, nothing is going to be here. So... That would actually look like this. Which means this could go in here. Uh, can we make that look slightly better, perhaps? Move this over tile. I think I like this more. That's more like it. Okay, so Viridian Plate goes on this side. 50-50... Uh, this goes here, actually. 50-50... Uh, half of it goes through. It's only taking up one half of the belt. And half of it goes here, which has input priority. So this gets blocked when this has input. And... We should end up with just half of half a belt of Iridium Plate. On this side... Oh. How do we... Yeah, no, that, that can just... We only need one belt for all of this. Why do we only have six of these? 10, 10, and 8. 28. Okay. So we can just merge that. Don't forget to connect these up again. That would have been a disaster. Alright, so on the right side of the belt, these two. Hmm... Is that going to be a problem? We're going to get like 12 or 24 blank data cards at a time here. And they'll be blocking the space platform scaffolding here. And we get a bunch of... I don't think there's enough room here to store the amount of... Like blank data cards, for instance. I think if we just make these fast inserters, limit the stack size, that'll probably be sufficient. Probably. No, it won't work right because on belt reader is missing on belt reader oh yeah this thing actually let me put this up here one more tile read belt contents hold Okay. So my concern is if there's too many blank data cards together, the space platform scaffolding will be blocked from ending up here. So we need to limit the stack size for these. Six at a time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be okay. I think. If I just make more room for them, 
it's going to be less of a problem. Why don't I just move all of this stuff down? Wait. I needed that splitter. Where did it go? There we go. And that should be far more than enough. I'm actually dying to try this out now, but we need to get the space platform scaffolding delivered. Um... Well, I'm going to summon the train anyway. Uh, first, let's finish this build. Let's get our spiders back to spawn. Uh, back to the mall for a sec. Uh, we're going to need... Oh, I forgot to mark this. We got our heavy composites into orbit, and I literally didn't even notice... Wait, does that mean we got, uh, shields? Wait, hold on. What's this train asking for? Contaminated scrap. I'm surprised I didn't add that when I did scrap. Scrap. Okay. Production, all time, shield. We have not made any. We're not even trying to. We're too starved of holmium cable and superconductive cable right now. Um, okay, I'm going to turn this stuff off for the moment. Here we go. Heavy composite, quantum processor, I know we've got those. We're actually just waiting on holmium cable and we can get shield projectors. Fantastic. How did holmium cable become a problem again? There's none of it here. Back on Nalvis. We have a ship almost full of Holmium cable. We are making Holmium cable as fast as we can. Uh, it's just not enough. Yeah, this is 198 Holmium cable per second, although it's only uh, 180 per second that goes into the rail network at the most. We've got very nearly that. The rest is going to solenoids, which are completely saturated. Well then. Um, I wonder... I don't see how we can fit... What have we got for input here? Almost a full belt of plastic and almost a full belt of holmium plate. I don't really see how we can fit more holmium cable production here, but we've got completely saturated holmium plate output and we've got plenty of plastic. So I think we actually need to just build a block that makes nothing but holmium cable. Uh, it's a good position to be in compared to we didn't have the actual input resources a while ago. I could just copy this block, but considering that we're completely saturated on both solenoids and holmium plate, 
Uh, I think most of that would be a bit of a waste. So why don't we... There's a bit of copper here I don't want to steal just yet. Let's build it here. Construction spiders, where did I leave you? The name. You still didn't get concrete here. I'm very disappointed in you. What's the problem? One of them at least is over full. I can't get delivery cannon, specific delivery cannon capsules out of their inventory until I go there and manually do it myself with my character. That's a bit annoying. They just don't show up in logistic requests. I forget what the term for it is. Uh, uh, catalysts, maybe? I remember Intertooth was talking about it. He was trying to look up his uh, stats for barrels in his pipeless challenge. Um, but was unable to look up what he was trying to because certain things sort of don't count. Okay, let's get our spiders back to the mall briefly. I'll deal with that concrete a bit later. And we need... Input and output rail. Building stuff on the planet is so... So much more messy than building stuff in orbital bases. Let's put that here. And we're just gonna make a couple of blocks of as many of these as we can fit under a beacon. And then see if we can keep up uh, with the input belts. I'll just add an icon here in case I forget. Cable. And did we finish this? Oh, we did. Let's grab our blueprint of the quarter variety. That goes there. And I might need to make this a radar construction pylon, at least temporarily. And this thing can be another charger. At this rate, we're just going to produce enough stone to build the whole thing. Okay, maybe not. We're at 307. That's significantly less than I would have thought would have accumulated this whole time. While I was doing other things. Um, but see you okay. How, how is this happening? If they were able to build all of this landfill, I wonder. Because they end up, some of them end up going back to a different recharge and then attacking it from another angle. Amazing. Okay. Back to orbit. Uh, I wanted to get the construction. Oh, that's right. We were trying to fix this still. Construction spiders, though. Should have these uh, particle colliders. I'm looking forward to this sushi build. Maybe I should move those pipes away, uh, that belt away a bit so the pipes can... We need a fiver anyway.
so that we can go underneath that. One tail short. And then on this side. Let's be consistent. Fluid go grow. How many tiles is this? Twelve. How do we do twelve? Nine and three? Five and seven? Well, what if we do a seven here? What does that leave us with? Nine and eight. It would have to be eight, wouldn't it? Um, how do I do this with maximum neatness? Pop that up there, just like on this side. Bring this up a tile. Oh yeah, there's no middle tile between these two, that's why. I guess... Five and three will have to do. Depending on how many machines we're going to build here, I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Um, I think we should be okay to summon the train, though. So we're looking for Iridium Plate, Blank Data Card, and... Scaffolding. Space, platform, scaffolding. Stacks to 100. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. P space, platform, plating. And we'll summon a train when we're down to 2,000. And we also need which fluid? A a particle stream. Hundred K stream uh one twenty thousand. Don't need the super high priority, or do we? Probably. Oh, that was quick. Just as I remembered I wanted to change the station name. Oh well. We need these uh, rails complete, otherwise trains will not be able to get here. Careful. Uh, I sure hope we can make I'm pretty sure we can find room for the output here, but probably should have taken that into consideration a bit more. Um, so how much is this? 75 per second, two belts. So this is one belt. Well, we do have uh, 18 tiles to do it with, give or take. I could make this even wider if I need to. Of course, it's going to mess up the sushi belt a little bit. Why don't we just stop that there for now? Okay, so each individual machine outputs 18.75 per second. If it was direct insertion, that is... Less than one stack inserted needed, really. But I have a 
Uh, I have a feeling we're going to need three. Most likely. Um, and we need to use one side of the belt for each of these. And there's plenty of room to add more if we have to. That's the spiders. There we go. So that's going to be nothing but contaminated scrap. I guess that will go here. I'll leave room for even four of these if necessary. Same thing over here. And then... Oh, do we fit? Do we even need a balancer? This will be one belt, two belt, three belt, four. This will be half a belt, half a belt. It shouldn't need balancing, theoretically. But that assumes all of the machines are operating at the same speed all the time, and it's taking from a sushi belt, so whenever resources arrive, um, that's not quite how it's going to go. We've got our fluid. Fantastic. Alright, so let's consider using a balancer here. I don't think we need a lane balancer. need to set an output priority on those splitters for changing lanes. Uh, yes, that's true. Thank you. Yeah, I was waiting on the ghost earlier and I forgot. We've got tons of space for the output If we do double this, um, we can just put more of this on the other side, just like we did over here. In fact, why don't I just copy this? This is, in fact, contaminated scrap output. So if I put this here... And come to think of it, I might have used a lane balancer where I only needed a belt balancer back here. A little bit excessive. It actually takes up almost the same amount of space. I don't have to patch that anywhere else. Fantastic. Okay. So, bring that down a bit, one off, are you serious, tragic. I'm just gonna pretend like, actually no, calculated, I left room to expand. Just on the off chance we need four inserters here. Yep, that's what I meant to do. This is fine. And that actually reaches perfectly. Look 
go here. This part could look better, but what are you going to do? This build is going. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for? We've still got some data here. Let's see what we can do about it. There's so much scrap. Maybe, maybe I need to remove this, uh, this data a bit more surgically. Not sure how to go about it. I could look for a train that's looking for data and just temporarily put, um, filter inserters. That's probably the way to go. Just wait for this train to be full. Off you go. Pick these up. Stack inserters. I won't bother putting in like a precise loader circuit, but what I will do is set filters or the thing that the train is asking for, and with just a little bit of manual intervention, hopefully this one's looking for data cards. It is not. Hit a patter of the spidey bots in blue, indeed. I love the pitter patter of spider feet. Um, we're going to need another one of these blocks. And this will be space platform scaffolding that we're picking up from here, let's say. Uh, I should have a blueprint for it. I don't know how perfectly up-to-date it is. Let's see... Brick Shuttle... Brick Shuttle drop-off... Goes... Here. We also need the rest of... That block. This is a job for the scaffolding spiders, for the most part. Is the purple repairing? The purple one. Uh, the purple one's the leader, it's just so that I can distinguish it easily. In case I have to, like... Let, let's say I accidentally get this spider not following the leader. I can just fix it like that. Okay, we've probably got some... uh-oh. What, what's this train looking for? Okay, cool. Meanwhile, on planet... Okay, the bots are making it over here eventually. And they decided to build the supercharger last, it seems like. But... They are building... If they can build this heat pipe right here, they can build the whole thing. 
How much energy do you have left? Enough to be moving fast. Yeah. Okay, so that... Oh, that can actually stay. I shouldn't have done that. I could move this... I could move the ship closer. We'll have to refuel all over again. But it's not going to take that long. Might be the way to go. Then again, we're really not in a hurry here. We're doing other things as well. Just leave it alone. Alright, construction spiders, it is your turn. And I'm sending the scaffolding spiders back as soon as their bots catch up. There we go. Ooh, did we get any shield things? We've got two shield projectors. Never thought the day would come. I would love to see the start base in orbit, I have to say, maybe in the end. Uh, this thing? This thing that I've been meaning to deconstruct for the last 700 years? I went with a sushi belt because I could see that all of these unfamiliar recipes I was dealing with... Oh, and we didn't have rail at the time. Uh, all of these complicated, unfamiliar recipes that I was dealing with that have all of these junk outputs and so on. Um, I thought a sushi belt would be a good way to go. If I'd known at the time that you get 50 logistic bots for free, that is... There's no bots crashing if there's only 50 logistic bots. I probably would have started with that. Um, but I didn't know that, and I didn't want the pain of trying to resupply robots um, when I had very little logistics set up here. So Sushi Belt is what we went with. Uh, oh, and at first I was trying to resupply everything uh, with one cargo landing pad. This looks crazy? Yeah. Um, it caught me by surprise that if you try to automate rockets, uh, as in cargo rockets, they won't launch unless the cargo landing pad is completely empty. Um, so you can't, you can't use the pad itself for a storage to say, what are we actually going to send in the cargo rocket that we need? Oh, that is so many random cargo rocket sections we've still got. And here we have a bigger sushi base where I did the tier one sciences. Just barely. We kind of ran out of space with um, bioscience. The first time you do bioscience is an absolute nightmare, to be honest. Especially if you're running out of room to do it. Um, but we got there eventually. If we don't learn from future mistakes, we're doomed to repeat them for the first time time. Yes. I just ran into that issue. I had the pads feeding trains with inserters, but if there was like one stack left in the pad, it wouldn't trigger LTN to pick up, so no new rockets would deliver. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, that's why when I was still... well, technically I still am using cargo rockets, but I'm trying to phase them out. I mean, I am phasing them out, I'm just being a bit lazy about it. They do use less liquid rocket fuel to get from Nalvis, but we've got enough now that I could probably send everything up by shuttle. 
Uh, but yeah, unfortunately we do sort of need belts going to chests. Uh, and unfortunately as well, we need lots and lots of space covered by roboports in case the rocket crashes. So that's cool. Um, much more space than I anticipated, to be honest. I mean, it makes sense, but still. Oh, we have... Uh... Oh, this is supposed to be outgoing. So the fact that this is sitting here is not great. We're not getting enough blank data cards for the ludicrous uh, amounts that we need to saturate star probes. And asteroid belt probes. Uh, okay, so we need... We need this blueprint again. And if I can remember what it was that I changed about this blueprint, this would be the perfect opportunity to update it. Uh, for one thing, I want this to be minimum train like three, max trains three. Uh, it looks like I've already updated it so that we can fit three train loads of stuff in the requester chests. That's good. As for the rest of this, um, I think it's actually pretty good. Oh, this should be a passive provider, and this should be a storage chest. So anything we run out of room for will end up at the mall, and anything that's not supposed to be here will end up at the mall. Let's update that blueprint. Select new contents. Include tiles, include train stop names. Fantastic. Uh, we need to set up... Uh, we have an unused pair of shuttles down here. Why don't we use that? I just don't know what number to use yet. I really should have made a list. Can... Actually, you know what? Can I use debug to look at, like, the item ID or something? That way I don't have to keep making up numbers. I can just... If I can see some unique identifier for this. Debug is way down the bottom. Um, what if I... Oh, there's infused bots here. Don't tell me we've run out of storage. No, we haven't. So why are these bots sitting here? Because this is full. I see. Okay. If I point at the scaffolding, I can see the whole thing. Item ID 119. That's what I wanted. Except, we're already using 119 somewhere. Uh, do I go through and change... Copper is 336. Do I really go through and change all of these? It's not going to change if I add a mod or something. Like, this is always going to be 481, surely. Um, but I think I started at 100. This is 112. Iron plate is 100. Copper plate is 101. Better not do that. Yeah, okay, so where were we up to then? These are all familiar. Uh, apparently I don't have a number for heat shield. What? I thought I saw a heat shield drop off 
that was working here. 120. Okay. I'm surprised we didn't run out of heat shield before this became a problem. Um, so heat shield is 120. Heat shield shuttle number one. Oh, it just landed. That's what I was looking for. Making sure this was set to 120. Heat shield shuttle number two. 120, good. Kind of glad we found that. I mean, I'm sure I would have found out eventually because heat shields weren't in motion. If you don't incremental, keep using that. If you change mid-game, it will confuse you later, later on. Yeah. Um, what I should have done is painted some numbers on the ground for each resource. I could still do that. Spiders should be carrying concrete now. So this is 100. How visible is this going to be? I'm sure we can figure something out. Okay, do the spiders have concrete? Where did I leave them? Oh, that's right. We're supposed to make Holmium cable. Oh no. Uh, let's not get too distracted from what we're trying to fix right now. The spiders are too full. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I ay. Well, not all of them are too full. Okay, platforms, before I forget. What is the last ID that we were up to? 123, 122, 120. And away you go with your heat shielding. Fantastic. 121, 123. I think 123 was the last one. Pretty sure. One eleven. Uh, in Nervous Orbit, the last drop-offs I built were up here somewhere. I'm pretty sure this was the last one. That's a one sixteen because that was available still. One twelve. One fifteen. Thirteen. One twenty. Okay, I think 123 was the last one. So this should be 124. We're going to lose track because this is using a spare block. 24. And it was platforms, wasn't it? That's what we're needing. Space platform plating. Space platform plating shuttle one. And number two. And then if plating greater than or equal to 76k 800, that is what will fit here with a stack size of 100, which is what we're dealing with. Um, 
Make sure all those those wires are actually connected. Looks good. Platform plating. It's been a minute since I did one of these. There's a lot of steps to it. Uh, I think I calculated that this was wrong. 160k. We need eight train loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um. So 16k times 8. Wait, what? Times 8. 128,000. That's being a bit lazy. What actually fits here? Um, no, that'll be fine. 128k. And change the station name. Request these. I don't think we're going to get a shuttle full of this stuff anytime soon. Because last I checked... Oh. Okay. We're making more plating. That's good. Yeah, we were missing steel. I need to... Okay. What I will do with my construction spiders for the moment is just go around upgrading all of these modules in the beacons. Hopefully we've got enough. And that alone should more than double our furnace throughput. The only question then is if we're going to bottleneck on our loaders here. But I already did set filters on almost all of the storage chests down near the loaders. It might take a little while to sort itself out because there's copper plate everywhere here, for example. But not enough space in chest. That's false. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting these bugs so often. The old Omni smelters, if I saw something like this, I would have to fix it once. Um, like, for a single machine. But it seems to keep popping up. Not enough space in chest. Why are you set to behind? There shouldn't be a single combinator, crafting combinator, in all the land that's set to behind. How did you get... what? No. Anyway, uh, hopefully we've got enough modules. This will more than double our smelting power. We should be able to keep up. Didn't upgrade these ones yet. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the sheer volume of crafting combinators, but it seems like I've had to finagle these things and, and fix them with a little rotation dance um, a lot more often since I made these new Omni smelters. And I'm not sure why that would be. I won't forget you. Oh, rip butt. Yeah, 
we go. Where are our spiders? Fantastic. Actually, let's do this one next. What's going on here? Oh, we're missing some prod sixes. In the new green circuit build. Look at all those circuits. Alright, let's not get too distracted. Uh, we are loading... Plating? And... Did I enable this? I did. That should be everything on... This side. Except for... I forgot those ones on this shuttle. And on this orbital side it was 124, wasn't it? Or 126? 124. Okay. 124. When space platform plating equals zero, take off. Go back to Nalvis. Uh, only put in a little bit of liquid rocket fuel since it costs more to send it up here. In fact, I think it's we're technically wasting a little bit of rocket fuel um, by sending it up here. When we prod six the whole thing, it'll be better. We need to whitelist our space platform plating in this robot block. We need to switch on the robot block to request robots and repair packs and so on. And I think that is pretty almost much it. 4800 of this. And that should give us our plating, a space platform plating up here. Are we finalized on this layout? I want to see if the um, if the quarter belt of iridium plate works. I'll wait till this bit's saturated with um, space platform plating before I connect these two. Not as even as I would have thought. That's... That's... That's weird. There's gaps over here, but... It ends up being just solid. Okay, so this isn't working. Um... Will it make enough room just by taking... I, I don't want to leave it to this chance, but will it leave enough room on the belt? Because it's taking Iridium Plate off of it. Negative one per second net rate 
and we're trying to produce 1.25 per second. Uh, I don't think that's good. Uh, let's review... Where's our sushi thing? We split this, and then split this. Fifty percent goes back here. Fifty, Yeah, I think I tried to do with a priority split what we need two splitters to do. I think that's probably what happened. Well, we've got plenty of room to do it up here. Although it won't be nice and neat down this way anymore. So, this one goes straight through. We need to merge this back in at some point. Is this it? And that has a priority input. Oh, also, I didn't do a priority split. Does that matter? Would this have done it? I need to, I need to check that first before I go and put all of this stuff in. If just putting priority output right and priority input right does the job, I, I doubt this will do it, but let's find out. Okay. Yeah, no, that's about what I expected. Okay, let's stop that for now. I need to take all of this iridium plate off the belt, actually. Get rid of this thing. Put this over here. Okay, experiment number two. Uh, also, let's compare it to this thing again. So, one, two, three. I don't need it to recycle back in here. But how many splitters do I actually need here? This one's to merge back in. That's That would be here. And we have this here. I think we need more than two. Dubious Hubris, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this thing is splitting 50%, 50%. So one quarter of everything should be going here. This goes here, this goes here. And this circulates again. We just need to break it down to 50%. So 50% goes... I think... I think this needs to go back up here, actually. Okay. Fifty percent goes straight through. The other fifty percent... I think what I'm missing is not the percentages. It's it's the fact that this actually gets blocked. How does this work? I thought I understood it, kind of.
Maybe I should build this thing and stare at it for a second. I'm gonna have to recreate it with space belt though. Three splitters like this. Can't even just oops. I can't even just stamp it down somewhere and change it. Uh another one here to merge that back to there. I won't need this splitter. Okay, so only the last output. Only the last output goes to our I think what I've been doing wrong is this part shouldn't go through. Yeah, I think it was starting to work correctly at the beginning. And then... Well, let's just make this and see what it looks like. Where even is that sushi me stuff? So I don't have to keep searching for it. Here it is. Okay, so one, two, three. Merge back to here. And this is our output. I think that's it. input priority on this thing. Okay. I'll move that aside for now. Uh, flip this around so we can fit it. Maybe... I don't know. I won't worry about the shape of it just yet. That's the result I'm looking for. Now, can we do it with fewer splitters? And make it more shapely, shall we say? How much of this is only needed because of the way we, uh, the way this example is doing it with science? I don't need this or this, um, obviously. Uh, oh, wait, that's interesting. I forgot this bit of belt and it was working. So that means this splitter is not necessary. At least for the purpose that we're using it this time. Uh, which means this one's not necessary. But then, don't we just end up with... No, we do end up with two splitters. I guess this could look like this? That's pretty weird. And doesn't that just lead back to this? Isn't that what I did the first time? This is very strange. Oops. Redo. No, there's no such thing. No. Uh, this was it. 
And I'll just confirm again. This was working. Even though I forgot this bit of belt here. This part shouldn't be necessary at all. And neither should this part. And then that part, it, it all reduces down to one splitter. But that's the first thing I tried, and it didn't work. Okay, let's confirm. Does this work as intended? Yes, it does. I think what I'll do instead of trying to reason it out is dismantle it one splitter at a time and see if we keep getting the same results. So first I'm going to remove that one, that seems pretty obvious. We're going to connect this up again. And do we continue getting a half belt when this is coming through? Yes, we do, because this is this is bottlenecking it. That's kind of the point. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna need to clear this out again soon. Now it seems to me that we shouldn't need this splitter, so I'm gonna remove that. Connect this up. That seems to be behaving the way we're looking for. Okay, that's good. Now, it seems to me that this splitter isn't actually needed. Oh, I think I get it. Okay, so we are bottlenecking on this bit. Can I reduce this by one splitter? I don't think I can. Because it's not, oh, this is going left and this is going right, and why do we even need this? It's this, this little bottleneck right here is what we actually need. Seems more compressed with two splitters, indeed. Jay Brooks, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Really need a to-do list? I do have one. I've got a hidden channel in the Discord I'm using for that. It's a good place to keep it, I think. Oh, you mean a game? As in, I need to finish this build and so on. Yes, that too, perhaps. Maybe I should include that mod to-do list. I fear how big it would get. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do need this splitter. And the, what I tried to do the first time was this. And that didn't work because we're not bottlenecking this part. What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, so as soon as this part gets saturated, it's it's going to look like it's working at first, and then this part gets saturated, and it's not actually working. Okay, that's what happened. We figured it out. It's literally just about creating a bottleneck that suits us, so we get exactly half what would fit on the belt. Fantastic, we got there.
that auto-balanced sushi belt, is that blueprint available somewhere? Uh, I haven't uploaded it myself. Uh, let me see if I can find... Who did I get it from? Uh, split here. I don't think that was someone's name, was it? Except, I think if I did name it after someone, it was the person who gave it to me, not who they said it's from. It was a viewer that posted, pasted it a long while ago. Yeah, that's... Oh! Oh, I thought someone posted the link for a second. My bad. Do I actually have it on Factorio Prints? Let me check. Uh... I wonder if I could organize this into, like, subcategories and stuff. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I don't think it's on the Discord. Uh, well, it's not on the Discord either, I don't think. Let me just put it there. Blueprints. I'm pretty sure Blueprint Bot is still not working, so I'll just post it like that. And I'll do a little snippy snip to show what this is. And on Factorio Prints, create. Refresh again. Create again. Uh, screenshot. Blueprint string. I lost it. Here we go. Uh, splitter, controlled, science, sushi. And I guess belt balancer would be the tag. Thanks for the blueprint, no worries. Zonix, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. And there it is in the chat as well. Okay. Um, where were we? We were implementing this. Now that we've got it down to two splitters. Can I make it more streamlined somehow? I can. Because this is blocked. I can actually just put this here. As It looks so weird that that's actually correct. But it is. We can't fit it just here, can we? One, two, three, four, five tiles. No. Okay. And that should be it. Honestly, if I saw this before I understood what it did, I would think, no, that's either a mistake or witchcraft. I mean, look at this thing. But it works. I'm surprised um, this part maintains a half belt as well. I, I, If I had to guess without thinking about it, I would have thought this part would end up saturated. That actually looks cool. I'm new to the Factorio and to the stream. What is this thing doing? Okay, so... A splitter takes... 
one or two belts of input uh, and gives you one or two belts of output, right? And it does it all evenly. So if I put four items in here, we're going to get two here and two here. Uh, it doesn't shove items from one side of the belt to the other, unless you do something like this, for example. So it, it maintains what side of the belt things are on. Um, there's a limit to belt throughput, of course. With the blue belts of vanilla and with these space belts, it's 45 items per second for a full belt, 22.5 items per second for half of a belt. And uh, what I'm trying to do here is put Iridium Plate on just half of this belt, but leave enough room because we only need, um, let's see. Uh, we only need 8 Iridium Plate per second to feed this thing. Because it recycles Iridium Plate some of the time. Well, that's part of it. Part of the reason. Uh, this ended up getting saturated, though. Because we're not consuming the input. Hmm. Is that going to be a problem? I think it is. I think it might be. Um, why don't we just... Read this here. And say Iridium Plate has to equal zero. And then... If we take all of that off the belt... Put the belt back... Uh, that bit's going to be a bit compacted, but once it finishes doing a loop... Actually, let's pick this up as well, quick as we can. It's still going to be a compacted bit, but maybe... Nope. I should have blocked this off first. And our spiders are full. Let's send them up here. The bots will take care of them. Okay, so to explain what this is doing, um, I want to use some of the space on half of this belt for the output product of the final product here, particle beam shielding data. So I want to leave enough room so that we can always output that. We need less than uh, we need less than a quarter of a belt. Uh, of Iridium Plate to feed eight of these machines. So what I want is half of half a belt. And there's a few ways we can go about this. Um, we can make a counting machine to keep track of how many Iridium Plate are on the belt. That's going to be a problem if we accidentally take off of the belt or if something explodes or who knows what. Uh, we can cover the whole thing in circuit wire that reads the belt. That's much more reliable. Um, it looks a bit messy. You also can't account for the underground belts and splitters and stuff. Uh, or, in this case... Hmm. I just noticed this got saturated as well. That might be... a little bit of a problem. I don't think that's going to be too bad. As long as there's room on this belt, we're only outputting 10 particle beam shielding data per second, and we will be consuming this. Yeah, I think this is okay. So you can't really see it here anymore, but what it is doing is we get half a belt of input here. It splits 50-50. Well, it's actually not allowed to go out to the right, so I made this harder to see. Let me just... Let me make this a bit more clear. Once we get our spiders back. So what we get here is... The input can only go... one way. 
it goes to our final splitter to, to begin with. Half of it goes this way, and the other half goes this way. So at this point, we've got half of half a belt, what we're looking for, except it wouldn't last. It, once this part gets saturated, it'll come back down here. It'll be a full belt. Um, but because we've got input priority on this part, uh, basically we've got two, or at least approaching, uh, two half belts of input. We've, we've got input coming here and we've got input coming here, two at once, and it bottlenecks on this part. So we end up with just like one half of a belt here, and then we split that here, and input priority, and so on. Um, that's how we get, when this isn't blocked, uh, we get just this perfect pattern of half of half a belt, um, leaving room for our other product. Would it be better to hold before the first splitter? Because now, now it will stack again after making the space. Hold before the first splitter. Um, as in, if I do this up here somewhere, I was thinking about that. If I set, if I like read from here and block this. I don't know how well that's going to work. We're going to, it's going to get more sporadic. Now, I, I can live with uh, bits of it being... Oh, what I'm actually realizing is as much as with this thing, we want plenty of lead up, we want the exact opposite with this one. The only trouble is this pipe here. I think what I'll do is bring this down here. Or something like that. How many tiles is it? 15 plus 9. Okay. We take those. And then we can get rid of this. How many tiles is this? 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, let's just put a 3D there. Oops. And just for the consistency of the look, I'll put that there. Also, also, we can get rid of this one. This can all go back down a tile. And that looks better. Okay, so we're going to remove this. This is going to go here. Nice fit. Yep, I like that more. How do you get resources to machine? Um, that's most of the game. I've got trains, I've got belts, I've got space shuttles. Um, speaking of which... It's probably going to be a while before we're due to have space platform plating delivered automatically. We do have some here, though. I'm surprised it's putting it all into the one sh... Uh, oh, no. Um, where are you taking that? I forgot to do that on this end. 
I forgot to whitelist it here. So, most of the space platform plating that got delivered here is headed back to the mall. Rip. How much is it? Oh, it's full. Okay. Um, how much have we been making, I wonder? We're struggling to make it because there's not enough steel. It does take a lot of steel. It's literally four times as much steel per stack as steel itself. And at this point we're struggling on furnace speed. Oop, wrong one. I wonder if we're catching up yet. Since we've been more than doubling the speed of our furnaces. I also need to make more of these. Uh, that coal mine is still in the way. I should really output it to the rail network. I can't believe we've still got that. It's been there forever. Even if it is going to the old main bus base. Alright, let's get rid of this old thing. I'm going to put a rail block here. We're going to add power ice mark. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You don't have input to machine you placed. You placed only output. Do you mean uh, this thing? Yeah, we're still waiting on space platform plating. Um, I've disconnected this temporarily, deliberately. Because the way this part works, we read from this part of the belt. On this, on these two belts here, we're going to have two... Uh, we're going to have a half belt of blank data cards. And we're going to have a half belt of um, space platform plating. The splitter is going to merge them. They're, they're going to be occupying the same half. So the splitter is going to merge them into here. And they're actually going to alternate. They're going to take turns. Um, and then it's going to merge in and take up the near side of the belt. Uh, the reason I haven't connected this yet is I want the space platform plating uh, to be saturated up to this point before I let it through. And that's going to minimize or eliminate, actually. If, if I can... If I put these here and then turn this around, they'll, they'll actually be perfectly in sync. Um... And we won't get a little bit at the start that's off balance. Not belt. Look at the machines. Oh, I don't have the input yet. Yeah, I've got room for them. Um, that's not a big deal. This is fine. Okay, uh, back to Nalvis. What was I fixing? Furnaces, because we need a ludicrous amount of steel all of a sudden. Didn't we have a storage for steel? We did. It's looking very sad. Okay. Uh, that's one more furnace upgraded. Let's get our spiders up here as well. I wonder how many prod sixes I have now. 213, that's pretty good actually. Uh, 
And I remember one of the things I wanted them for. Uh, I want to make another one of these blocks. And I don't even care if I can't give it maximum productivity bonus just yet. We need the speed. Because we're actually not mining Vitamelange core fragments right now. Or for a time we weren't at least. Because we ran out of storage space here for vanilla core fragments. Because we're not consuming them fast enough. And considering vanilla core fragments give us iron, copper, coal, stone, and a little bit of vulcanite, not to mention crude oil, uh, that's kind of a big deal. That's literally all of the basic resources. What's going on here? Oh, don't tell me I forgot to whitelist these as well. Yep. Okay. First of all, let's add heavy composite icon here. And then heavy composite. And what's this one? Iridium, uh, not Iridium, Holmium plate. Yeah, I can find that quicker than I can search for it. Mostly because the keys I need to press are not all instantly accessible by my left hand. Okay. Are you still... No, you're, you're finishing up stealing the space platform plating. Some of it is going back to the shuttles. I'm actually not sure why. This is stack size 12. This is stack size 12. Can a bot reserve this and then the inserter doesn't pick it up or something? I would have thought this would be here for one tick. Okay, so we fixed that. It's still going to be mostly just when can we pour enough steel into this to get our space platform plating. We're at half a train load at the moment. Well, it's not doing too badly. Plating. Oh. That's not the graph I expected to see, even for 10 minutes. It's very spiky. Very, very spiky. Alright, we need more steel. Uh, spiders are on their way to upgrade the last of these. Omni smelters. Assuming they've got the modules for it, we have more than doubled our smelting power today without building a single furnace. So that should probably sort itself out. It might take a while since we fell behind. No overflow chest, you lie. No overflow chest. Okay. Uh, what are we focusing on next? Should I send up some... How much have we got here? 12,000? Space platform plating? How much do we need per recipe? Just one. I think we'll send up a shuttle early. Why not? Maybe we could wait for one more delivery. This is 1.1k. Uh, how close are we to having a train pick this up? 
not very. Let's just send this one now. Um, also, that should have the same settings. Whoops. Okay, so if space platform plating is greater than or equal to this number, spaceship launch target is now this orbit. We're going to change that to zero. And once it's taking off, I'll just replace those settings again. And that should already be on its way. Fantastic. I still haven't figured out the difference between these ships that I never have to press engage just once. Uh, maybe it's because the first time they launch, it's an automatic launch. That could be it. Or maybe it's because it's a new design. I, I don't know about that one. Oh, are we done? We are done. And we've got power. It's kind of hard to see, but... Yes, everything is within the power network here. Just barely. Cool. I'm not in that much of a hurry to get my player character back to Nalvis, to be honest. Um, so why don't we just... finish this thing as much as we can. Let's pick up the fishies. And we'll grab the big blueprint. I could do another quarter so that we actually get the parts that we can done filled out neatly. Uh, that was a good grammar sentence making. Let's be absolutely sure we've lined this up correctly. Fantastic. I'm still slightly nervous about the lineup, but it looks good. Okay. I really do hate that you can't take back the mistake of of putting in landfill that you didn't mean to. I wonder if there's a way you you could design it so that players can't really cheese it like path biters by destroying landfill or something. Probably just make it take a long time to remove. Okay. Uh, so we should have our plating in orbit now. We do. How much did I bring up here? That's not enough to trigger a train delivery. Uh, so what I'll do is drop the provide threshold down to one, and same goes for the requests. Ooh. Uh, we've already got everything else, so just ch changing this just for a moment should be fine. There's like 20 different mods for water fill. They all put water back, but different ways. Some allow you to kill yourself, kill biters, others don't. Some have regular water, shallow water, deep water, etc. Interesting. I don't want that wire there. That's not supposed to be there. Okay, 
Probably should have made sure this would be perfectly balanced as well. Um, it actually is almost perfectly balanced. Okay, let's change this back to 160, I think it was. No, 480. Yeah, it has to be full before the train comes. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Uh, cold, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Some mods let you spend coins to turn a wooden box into a water patch. That's kind of weird. Wait a sec. Oh yeah, no, this is, this is fine. This is actually the reason that I knew I needed a bunch of space here. Okay. So we're going to connect these. And then this is going to let stuff through. I guess it didn't matter holding on to that. And then once these two are even, it'll let these two through. So we get exactly one uh, blank data card and then one plating on this side of the belt. It's going to be a little inaccurate from the very beginning, but after that it'll be perfectly even from now on. Unless we run out of something, that might cause a problem. I'm not sure how severe it'll be. Whether it's enough to eventually cause a problem on the sushi belt or not. Okay. So that is working. Or so it would appear. It remains to be seen how long it takes before this thing crashes, if that's what's going to happen. We need to get more speed modules. Let's get our spiders back up here. I'll get them to visit the mall briefly and then come over here. And scaffolding spiders. Where are they? Oh, I did actually send them back. Oh, I need to change this back to 160. I think we may have received some imbalanced iridium plate here. And I know this is slightly imbalanced. But it should be okay. We're only requesting, like, a bit more than one train load of each of these things. So it shouldn't actually be a problem, especially since we're merging it all here. So because blank data cards ran out here, we would have got a little bit of extra plating on the belt. Unfortunately, we can't read belt where the splitters are. So I can't make something that keeps these two things even that doesn't have any uh, lag time whatsoever. At least as far as I'm aware, there's not a way to do that. I guess if I used inserters with some circuits and timing and stuff. Hmm. I could have a counter that that does plus one, minus one. That could work. That would just be one combinator. I could probably live with that. So instead of these reading belt contents hold, this would be read pulse. This would be read pulse. I need a combinator just to say times negative one, unfortunately. Uh, 
So this would be positive, this would be negative, and we have a memory cell. And then instead of equal, it would be less than or equal. And that'll actually be reliable. Even though inputs are not reliable. I think I like that more. What's the biggest cause of your UPS drop? Uh, if we look at... Uh, let's see. If we look at the stats here, it is game update at 38. Entity update is 15. Circuit network is approaching 7. Trains are relatively low. Script update is 3.7. That includes things like uh, the crafting combinator mod. Crafting combinator itself is at 1.4. We've got quite a lot of these. And Electric Network is actually up to 8.2, which is more than I would have imagined. What is so difficult about Electric Networks? Set it to not allow A to go through the splitter unless B exists as well. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. The only trouble with that is we can't read what's here or what's here for that matter um so there's a bit uh, there's a bit of lag time whereby once we run out of this resource we're going to continue to put about four or so um in fact every time if we're getting if we're sporadically getting blank data cards Wait, why are we not... What? What? Blank... Oh... Huh. I did not see that coming. You may ha find it hard to see, but there's blank data cards right here. And they're blocked by these... here. I sort of anticipated this problem, but I didn't go far enough. We're going to make these stack size 1. And I'm going to make some room on the belt. Oh. Right. I don't have my spiders here now. Hmm. They've actually just arrived. Picking up the speed modules. Okay. Let's bring them back, I suppose. I should probably... We've got room to do it. I should have done this in the first place. Instead of this, I should be uh well what this will need a bit of changing, but basically I should be outputting these two um on a belt and outputting these two on a belt. And then merging them. I guess that... hmm... Does that just push the same problem somewhere else? I think it does. I think I deleted this, but... What I was doing a while ago... Yeah, I did delete it. Unfortunately, we don't have this example. But I had a train stop here dropping off three different resources um onto a sushi belt and what i did was i had a counter and i just directly controlled the inserters that output from the chest what is ups i know it 
tries to update 60 times a second, then splits by half. Uh, yeah, units per second. It's, it's basically ticks per second. You need to move the plate splitters down one row and have the cards slash platform on separate belts. Uh, yes, I think so. So one doesn't hold up the other. Yeah, I, I was thinking, does that just shift the same problem? But I don't think it does. Like, if you have multiple outputs of something, you need to have enough storage for all of them somewhere, or it's eventually going to stop. There's different ways to go about it. You can have filter outputs, put things on different belts, or you can output everything to the same belt and then filter them. Uh, but ultimately, it's the same problem. But I don't think this problem is like that. If I simply had all of the... Yeah, if we didn't merge and split these two resources, that would actually work a lot better. I think if we were able... Hmm. Well, no, we haven't actually run out of blank data cards. I was going to say if we were able to keep these saturated, we could. this would work, but apparently not. Okay, we've got tons of space. Why don't we just get rid of this abomination? And I think I'll get rid of this thing as well. This one works fine. I like this. Uh, I might keep that, actually. Oh, good timing. Here come our spiders. Okay. So... We're going to be putting all of these on half of a belt anyway, so it doesn't really matter how we go about it. Oh, I know what I can do. We'll have these two share a belt at first. And as for Iridium Plate, simple as that, I can go there. Is this going to go on the side of the belt that I would expect? I think it will, if I have a corner there. And yes, that's good. And we need to read this bit of belt to make sure all of those swing in unison. Okay, so then this is the weirdest looking output. Uh, so then we are going to bring these together like so. Actually, don't do that yet. Not too late. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream? This Mucky. We're doing sushi shenanigans again. We're doing new and exciting sushi shenanigans. That is hard to say. Sushi shenanigans. Had bite of battles with JD. That sounds pretty interesting, actually. Might have to check that out. Uh, so this is going to go here. And then...
Uh, I guess we don't have to block that one. Uh, this is actually where we're going to filter them. Let's go like data cards, let's say. Uh, let's do plating. Don't really have room to do what I wanted to there. Okay, so blank data cards. Oh. No, I confused myself. I just want to swap the sides of the belt for one of these. And that is going to be... the scaffolding, actually. Uh, is it? Oh no. Oh no no no. 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 No, I didn't think that through. Not this last bit, but earlier. Um, I'm putting... I'm putting Iridium Plate on the wrong side of the belt. Um, let's see. I need to swap which side of the belt Iridium Plate is using. Uh, why don't I just do that here, I guess. And I need a filter. That's, that's wrong. Okay. We're going to need to tear up the sushi belt again. Just to get the items off of it. Once that's done, we'll undo. Integration? Yeah, you've got some good integration. Oh, I meant to undo first. There we go. Don't know how that got there. Okay, delete this for a second. And... That means our plate is already on the right side of the belt, and we want... blank data cards to swap sides. delete that. That's more like it. Okay, now I'll implement the more reliable, I hope, uh, merger idea I had. We're going to read from all of these well, actually, no. Uh, we need an arithmetic from this one. Memory cell here. I think it's just going to be unconditional, but I usually use a decider for these. Okay, so we're going to read belt contents pulse. This will be positive, this will be negative. So we're saying each times negative one. Output each goes to this combinator, which is connected to its own input, which is connected to these belts here. And we're going to say I'm pretty sure it's just unconditional, right? If anything greater than zero out. Can we go anything and then everything? Yeah. If anything greater than zero out, but everything. Input count. So this is going to count. For one tick, we're going to get blank data card. It's going to go round and round in circles on this thing forever. 
until we get negative one blank data card here, which is going to be subtracting that. And it fits together pretty well, that's nice. So we've got 10 and 8. Oh, I forgot to put conditions on these. Well, so on the blank data card one, we're going to say blank data card is less than or equal to uh, plate, space platform plating, and same thing but the other way around on the other transport belt. That should do it. And it's going to be a bit hard to see, thanks to these bots, but we can see the result. We've got alternating... I'm seeing a little bit more plate. No, it's worked itself out. Oh yeah, because we had more... Um... <laughs> that looks funny. We had more um, blank data cards, didn't we? It was 10 and 8, and then we saw a couple of times there was more plate put on the belt than blank data card. So it actually worked itself out. That's cool. I like that. Now the only problem is... we've somehow saturated Iridium plate. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. I just wanted to block this for a second. Okay. That should do it. Is what I said before. But it's true. Neat. So this thing will actually reliably put the same number of blank data cards and plate on the belt, even if one of them runs out temporarily. I see problems already. I think it was probably legacy stuff from when we put, um, let's go input priority right. I think it's probably legacy from the stuff that we already had on the belt. We're trying to output particle beam shielding data here, but we don't quite have room yet. There should be more than enough. So in the long run, it'll work itself out. I'm seeing more space. So this will only put... Uh, this will only put new plate on here when no plate is detected and the only trouble is this part gets backed up and then therefore it doesn't have the gaps no it's it's doing the gaps now Yeah, I think it is working itself out. The long rows of Iridium Plate are slowly giving way to having frequent gaps. Cool. Hard slash platform stacking up on Sushi Belt. Uh, 
that's okay because they are using they we don't have to keep we don't need any space on the inside of the belt um these are trying to output to the outside of the belt always and up here we're ensuring that we put in exactly the same a one to one ratio of blank data cards and plate and the recipe calls for one of each um a uh, space platform plating that is not a iridium plate so it doesn't actually matter if we run out of room on the inside of the belt as long as we are putting in one of each over and over and we've actually got a circuit ensuring that that's the case I did see two plating here somewhere, but I'm pretty sure that corresponds to two blank data cards we saw somewhere, or didn't see. There are parts of it where, especially here, where it's more difficult for the machine to get its output onto the belt, but it seems to be managing. I don't know why this one was dark for a second, though. I th think it's only getting more able to keep up. It's looking quite good. nice. So that is particle beam shielding data, which I believe is the last of our material four. That's actually the end of material science. Uh, we've already got experimental alloys data down here. This is the entire build. We just shove all six of these uh, directly into these machines. Speaking of which, I could probably get rid of the thousand priority on these requests now, since we're done testing. I hope. Uh, we've got, what is it called? Laser shielding data. Although it seems to have stopped for now. It's because we're out of blank data cards, because all of them were going to the new builds. We've got uh, electrical shielding data, which is the exact same layout, only easier. And finally, we've got particle beam shielding data. So now all we have to do... Well, for one thing, we have to wait until we reach, like... 8,000 of each of these before the trains will bother. But what we can do here already, which I think I will, is update these recipes. What are you doing? What? Trash unrequested. What? You're not requesting media defense ammo, surely. Ammo? You're not. So why are you not trashing unrequested? Oh, do I have to, like, set this to a preset and then trash unrequest? I'm not seeing... What is going on here? Remove everything. I think it's broken? No? Scaffolder trunk. Okay. Okay, so... We're still not trashing the ammo. Why not?
Does auto trash just not recognize certain items? I think I would have run into this by now. Like, if, if that's how that works, I should already be familiar with it. Ammo. Zero. I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, uh, we can upgrade these to tier 4 now. Extended Material Insight. That'll be using Extended Material Catalog. And we immediately start taking in... Uh, I, we would be taking in the blank data cards, but our output is totally saturated. Which is kind of neat. That's a lot of insight. Uh, we need to ensure that our extended catalog build is set up correctly. Electrical, laser, particle, beam, and experimental alloy. Fantastic. Uh, I haven't set the recipe yet because we didn't have it at the time. We could upgrade these computers, but we tend to bottleneck on resources for these things. Do we have this set up correctly? I've seen some mistakes here. 16 chests. 16... Chests of extended material catalog. Fantastic. Fluid output isn't blocked. Cool. And then last but not least, uh, material. We need to get rid of this. Let's get our spiders over there. This was pretending we have a million material science pack fours, um, because we couldn't make any. We're balancing these by... We're not putting on the belt unless we've got... Material science pack one is less than or equal to material science pack two, and so on. Uh, and we're just direct inserting the science packs from here to here to here to here. So, last time I forgot to get rid of this constant combinator. Now that we're able to make material science pack 4, we've already got the heavy composite, that's fantastic. We're just waiting on material science pack 3, material science pack 2. Oh, you have no cold thermofluid. What? We've got a we've got ridiculous amounts of cold thermofluid. What's going on? Cold, 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 cold. And it is all connected. We are request threshold 100k, 120,000 cold thermofluid, and I only detect 46.1. Oh, four point... Wait, how is that signal only four? Oh, four is what's in these specifically. Okay. So why is LTN not bringing us cold thermofluid? We had to make... Oh, that's negative ten. This is cool thermofluid. Okay, but we should have cold as well. Cold thermofluid. Um, why are we struggling? The cold thermofluid output here is blocked. This is the actual pickup. We try to keep this one empty. So that we can drop it off back here if we have to. 
So the actual pickup here has 200,000 cold thermofluid. 200,000. That's not a thermofluid. 200,000. Okay. You are coming for cool. You're dropping off cool thermofluid. You are picking up cool thermofluid and dropping it off here. Wait, what? Uh oh. Oh, I, I didn't anticipate this. Okay, hold on. Encoded network ID 2. Um, encoded network ID 1 is where we pick it up. So I think these are backwards because I copied them from the bio sludge, which I did differently. That was good to discover. Okay, so because we don't want to pick up cold thermofluid to deliver to cold thermofluid in the same block. So the the pickup is two. It's not that the pickup is two and the drop off is one, it's that these two are one and these two are two. Uh, either way, I need to flip this around, I'm pretty sure. So this is a full thermofluid drop-off ID1. Drop-off ID1. Drop-off ID2. Okay. So we do indeed swap these around. We've no doubt had trains running this stuff in circles for a, a little while, but we've fixed it now. Um, it still doesn't account, unless we've ran out of trains. Uh, okay. That's a lot of trains that we don't have, but that's Nalvis, not Nalvis Orbit. I wonder why we're out of trains on Nalvis, but that's not the problem for the moment. Uh, why do we have two, four, six hundred thousand cold thermofluid, and it's not being delivered here? We've definitely got this set up. Oh. Yeah, no, I remember this problem. I had to bite the bullet and let long trains pick up these uh, science packs, which isn't that big of a deal. There we go. Train incoming. I should make sure that we're not going to have the same problem with bio. Although, I'm surprised... Uh, I guess I could also have just made sure that short trains can can do fluid runs as well. Since there's never a problem with rebalancing that stuff. Time to set a reminder to check back on it in 10 minutes. Yes, I would say, but now is good. Um, and as expected, I think it is some kind of traffic jam, perhaps? We've got... I don't think it is a traffic jam. They're all moving. There's just... a lot of traffic. Um... Did I actually... I, I more than doubled our smelting speed. Did this actually put us to a critical mass? Almost. I'm seeing a lot more steel already. Uh, what about here? 72k. 43k. This one's switched off. You can't have that much of everything. Only 41k steel. What's going on? Oh, right. It's probably the timer that hasn't hit its reset point. 
what does it go to? 10,000. So 8.6k right now. In about 30 seconds, or a minute real time. About a minute 10. It's going to reset here. And then we're going to pulse in... Um, difference. Uh, we're going to change the recipe. This is just so that we don't change the recipe too often, so we get the benefit of productivity modules, like 99%. Okay. We might just straight up need more trains on Nalvis. And I think... I, I strongly suspect like, more than doubling the speed of our smelters pushed that over the edge very, very suddenly. Okay. That's kind of a good problem to have. Um, I'm not too worried about it for the moment. Let's get things wrapped up in orbit. And we should be seeing, yes, everything except for extended catalog for Material Science Pack 4. Uh, extended catalogs are being made here, or they will be, once we get enough laser shielding data and particle. Particle is at 3.7k. I think this is quite slow, so I think I will double this. And laser has stopped because blank data cards. Oh, speaking of blank data cards, we need to we need to finish dropping off the speed modules here. Looks like this one has been completed. Nineteen point two. That doesn't sound right. No, we're missing some speed modules here. Uh, okay. Don't know where our speed modules are, but they're not in our spiders. We have been making them, right? We've made 60 over the last hour. That's actually pretty good. What are we bottlenecking on here? It looks like we've got all of our inputs. Wait, why have you stopped? Products finished 543 and then you stopped. How did you run out of speed module? What? There's no crafting combinator here. Uh, okay. That would explain that one. And why we're not making speed module 6s twice as fast as efficiency module 6s. Um, but yeah, we seem to have all of our input resources, and we've got bots to spell. Oh my goodness. Why do we have 3,000... <laughs> we've got 3,000 bots here, and we're only using a tenth of them. Or so. Speaking of BDC, I need about 86k on my base. Space elevators when, indeed. Wait a minute, maybe Nalvis Orbit is in the list just way down? Uh... Well, it would be very far down. I don't think we're liking trains in Nalvis Orbit. We've got quite a lot of them sitting in the depots. No path? Oh, did I break this? I did. I thought the blueprint would bl replace those. Uh, that means... Oh, that's a lot of blank data cards. Let's fix that as a priority. Okay. So we've only got... Bioscience. Uh, that we haven't done tier 4 now. I know we can't really say we've done tier 4 until we get the first material science pack 4, but it should all be fully automated now. 
That's exciting. All right, that is as good a place as any to wrap up for today, I think. Uh, but first, let's make sure this uh, train can get our 40,000 blank data cards that we've been missing. That seems like a good idea. And let's find a stream to raid while we're looking at that. Uh, who have we got? Thanks for the stream, it was fun. Thanks for hanging out. Araran, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think some coal core fragments are on the agenda next. I took forever to find any of those. I'm glad I finally got them. Uh... I think JD has enough viewers for today. How about Tumbling Satellite? Monolithic 2.7k SPM. Oh yeah, he's got... Tumbling has a lot of regrets <laughs> from attempting this. I have two planets, 33 and 100% Bida coverage. Perfect. All right, let's drop in on Tumbling Satellite. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And, uh... Hope you all have a nice day. a great rest of your day. Thank you. All right, away we go. Not even one troll, but two. Tyrannosaurus with a raid! Welcome on in raiders! Thank you so much for the raid. How did it go? How did it go? Welcome raiders. You're catching us in full redesign of our purple science? Because it wasn't working? Veldak, welcome on in! Welcome in chat! Actually went well? Glad to hear that. Have arrived. Funky Pants with an Epic Archer, that's quite the name. Mm, okay, so. How did the how did the space exploration go? Did you go further? Where no engineer has gone before? Four more data cards to go before I finish the big phase. Oh, nice! Progress is always nice. New and different logistics, gotcha. Exciting, exciting stuff indeed. Um, I'm gonna have to remove everything. Ah. New sushi experiments? Ooh. I've never really experimented with sushi belts. I I'm too much of a coward for that. It scares me. 